Oh, I will definitely get sidetracked. Dude, just give me a second. <laughs> I mean, that's just... That's just the usual for me. I always have so many going. That's the game! It's from Sega! <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm testing something at the moment. Oh, nice. Let's see. You might now be coming through my stream. You're definitely in my party, though. I've turned it to be that. See if this ends. Got the music. Don't actually see like another option in this. Let's see. Oh, I'm doing it through the dis like I transferred the Discord chat to uh the party. So like you're technically coming through my headset and not uh Discord anymore. So I've turned the Discord chat into uh like a Xbox party chat. <clears throat> so technically you should be coming through. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not. I I have my stream of a year too. 
Not that you're just quiet, I don't think. That's weird. Yeah, I'll have to maybe fiddle with it more later. Because I definitely can transfer it now, but apparently it's not coming through my stream yet. Yeah, there's got to be something else for it. Yeah, I did, I did, didn't I? Yeah, I'm hearing you twice now. Yeah, okay. Okay. So it does work. I think you were just quiet. Because I turned up your volume more. Yeah, but that's good that I can actually get the voice in. You're, you're literally uh, marked at 200 voice <laughs> you were at a hundred when it started how about now there's probably more things i can fiddle with but that's good to know so i can actually get discord onto my xbox streams yeah, at least <laughs> well you're, you're the first actual voice on my stream ever so <laughs> but uh i'm actually going to drop this voice chat now and uh actually start the stream <laughs> see you later Okay, now I just need to do the actual tweets out, because since I was just testing, I didn't actually do my tweet or anything. I like how, because I took so long, like, people's stream cord has already shouted me out, so. In some discords, I've already been shouted out.
And everybody calls it like slightly different too for their like self promo stuff. So it's like like self promo or or like obviously in Briars is wildfire going live. So some are just going live. <laughs> I can I I don't know why my mind can never like directly pick up like what is this one. I think literally the like five I always do are in different, uh, differently named. Okay, just a tweet now. And then we can start. Like I said, appreciate your help, Sky. So that tells me I just need to edit probably other, like, party settings or something somewhere. Yeah. I've been in the same track for a while here. See what we got. I don't remember what we even have. Okay, we only have eight out of that. We need to find that key. Uh, that's something else altogether. Okay, so. I need to ask somebody about a bottle. I gotta coordinate that hostess's outfit and I don't even remember that one because that was the first stream. <laughs> Actually, just head of the main thing. What do you? What do you need? Are you headed somewhere special? Just the nines. We had an out of town for a little while. Headed up to Tokyo. I see. Thankfully, your children. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've read this before. So I just can go to the city street from here, so let's push on. Yes. Let's go to the city. Let's finally do main story. Let me make sure. There we go. Okay. My TV wasn't muted. I was like, I think that's a little louder than Chairman, regarding today's schedule, we received a call. We must arrange a meeting of the clan leadership. Yeah. Alright then. In your conference tonight with those <laughs> IT venture capitalists? Cancelled. There's no turning your back when headquarters comes knocking.
We all got caught. Strange place, China. Wouldn't you say? Do people eat anything? Pigeons, frogs, hell, even cats and dogs end up on a digit. Yeah, the dinner table. Whatever it takes to keep yourselves alive. But you know, man, I have to hand it to you, Chinese snakes. Laying down roots in someone else's country takes serious balls. That's a mafia level move right there. I'm not mafia. I just chef. Let's be pals. All your neighbors are on board. They pay their dues. A million a month. A million? Considering how long you've been yanking our fucking chain, it's a pretty good deal. But I'd gladly take the deed to this little shithole if you can't pay up. There's a job in one of our restaurants with your name on it. No! Not possible. Sometimes I forget how sharp Chinese knives can be. <laughs> Could probably slice the man's clean head clean off. How about we test it out? <clears throat> The food's got quite a reputation around these parts. <laughs> the fuck? Boss, we just sure received a call from HQ. They want to discuss the sixth chairman. Please, it's not possible. Huh? Oh yeah? So Fair enough. But, if you can't do it, you can't do it. Sorry to go shaking you up like this. This will make it up to you. Something to remember me by. All I wanted was to be partners. My bad if I came on too strong. The fuck is that face? <laughs> Let me know if you change your tune. Bye now. What's in the case? A bomb? Yep. Should we come back later? Oh, yeah, Jimmy, you're 
I don't know how the boss handles pork. Eh, yeah, he's never really been the discrimination type, you know? Anything goes, so long as they got meat on the bones. Hey, uh, Nishikiyama Industries. My apologies, sir. Yes, the boss is in at the moment, but... Huh? A meeting? HQ, something about an urgent meeting. Understood, sir. I'll pass that along. A job well done, sir. So, what time is it at? Huh? The meeting, dipshit. What? How did you... It's cute just rang you up, right? Might be horny as all hell, but I ain't deaf. My apologies, sir. They said it's at 7. There you go. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Thank you very much, sir. I'm on top of the goddamn world. Round up as many sorry sons of bitches as you can. Tonight? That cub's gonna be ours once and for all. Oh my. Tell him to bring a whole fucking billion in cash. It's here. The war has finally started. No getting caught with our pants Hi. down. Oh, fuck. Huh? What's that dude? Huh? Did you say a billion? You heard me. I want it, and I want it in cash. So what are you planning? A fucking war. Or one that decides who's taking the Tojo reins. Hey, the sixth chairman is very much alive. He seems somehow premature. I'll show you premature. Just shut it and bring me my money. Very well. <laughs> Asshole. I just got a rundown of the new current friendly folks. No different than the day I left it. Hmm? Help us. The heck was that? Someone call the cops. Oof. Let me go. What's the big idea, huh? Can it? I told you we're booked. Okay. So I'm back home again. Something's going on at Stardust. I want to drop in before I go see. Miku's just busted in, slamming a full suitcase full of money on the table. I've never seen that much money in my life. I wonder how fat the stacks are. Yeah, what's that? Mac in action. There I am, for all your photo needs, Kiryu. So, one of my boys told me about this beauty he's been eyeballing. Girl called the Judo Girl. Just look for a broad in a school uniform and glasses, and that's your girl. Anyways, my ass was macking on her real hard, not taking no for an answer, when suddenly she just picked him up and tossed him f flat on his ass. My friend, okay, I was like, wait, you? And then him? 
I misread that. <laughs> Man, I can picture her now. She's like some kind of wild beast behind those bookworm glasses, you know? Bet she'd make a dang good shot if you ever find yourself up there. Peace. I love that little uh, emoji. Little cat like, what the fuck? But I'm not in free room yet, so. Let's see what we got. You take your cash and shove it. What's that dog shit attitude for, huh? We're paying customers. Hey, they're here. Both of them. Not ones we want. The host dick's looking down on us. Kiryu. Kiryu. <laughs> they're like, finally. Kiryu? Hmm? The fuck are you, pretty boy? Hey, Kiwi. How you doing? You don't know? That's the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Kiryu. you. Hmm? Oh. Oh. I know you. Then you'll know to back off. Open those ears real good, fourth chairman. I don't know what you're strolling in here for, but let me set the record straight. I'm doing real good, Kiwi. Finally getting back in, uh, consistent-ish streaming and all that, so. We'll, we'll start progressing Yakuza again. Up to three. We got... Four, five, six, like a dragon, and then before we're finished there, the newest one will come out too. <laughs> Me and these gentlemen, we're just having a friendly little chit chat. Not a suspicious thing about it. Cross my heart and hope to die. So, why don't you go running along home? What's going on here? This guy came in and started saying he wanted to buy the club. Who are you anyway? Captain of the Nishikiyama family. You know, the one wrestling control of this whole damn city. What? So look, we just want to borrow your palace club for a bit. We're playing nice now. But you don't want to see what happens when we don't. Why do you need the club? Well, that just doesn't deserve, even deserve an answer. Now scram, pal. So what do you say? 300 mils, a damn mighty pile of cash, as I think you can see. And hey, it's just one measly month. That time will fly by quicker than a bat out of hell. I think I know what you want it for. You're going to turn this place into your base of operations for a Yakuza war. <laughs> Guess you don't survive this long in the city without knowing how its shadier side operates, huh? I also know who your target is. The Kazama family. What? You're one smart cookie, buddy. You're not smart enough to accept our offer. We got other ways of convincing if you need that little push. Probably should have brought like 10 more. Sorry about this, Fourth Chairman. Not a spare seat in the house tonight. Gonna have to respectfully ask you to leave. I can't do that. Not before I make you tell me what you're up to. Well, well. That's some kind of threat, Chairman. Can't let that side, you know. Sure, that's how you want to take it. 
Hear that? It's all yours, boys. Tear these punks to shred. Okay. Maybe try to hit me with something. Down that weapon. Little bitch. Look how far this is. Ow. Rude. That's just rude. Swing. Hit you with every lamp fixture in this club.
Aw, you lost your sword, buddy. A fucking beast. No wind against that. Now I asked you a question. What are you plotting? Wheels are in motion. Good boy, Kasawaga. Wait, the captain dude? What? This war is just getting started. This war is just getting started. The meeting. Are they gonna try to kill him at the meeting? Been what, two years, Kiryu? Huh. Yep. The drinks haven't tasted half as good without you, Ren. Please, take a little off. I'm not sure I have time for that. Maybe because of what he said? Yeah, I'm worried about him. I need to get to the Millennium Tower. And this is just a simple dispute between two of your hosts? Yes, my apologies for the trouble, officer. Just give it a bit. We'll be done with them soon enough. All good? It should be, yes. They seem to believe me when I told them it was just some of our younger hosts getting a bit too heated. Good. Even so, you should stay vigilant. The police are still out front. They'll surely want to question you if you walk out now. Guess I'm stuck here for now, then. I doubt they'll stick around much longer. Actually, can you go check on them for us? You got it. Damn, he shot up so fast. He was like, yep, I got it, man. There's something I need to talk to you about, Kiryu. What's that? Concerns the city. Oh. The city has changed in the, the two years since you've left, Kiryu. Or perhaps it would be better to say the Toja clan has changed. More specifically, their power structure. What do you mean? It has to do with the Nishikiyama family. They've always been forceful, to say the least. Even with their old bosses, Nishikiyama and Shindu, in charge. But ever since this new guy has taken the reins, their bloodlust has been uncontrollable. They're trying to seize every last shop in the city, even those under Tojo control. I can imagine he would take that sitting down. True enough. But as the captain of the Tojo clan, he makes it a point to vo avoid internal conflict whenever possible. Most shops have been able to resist Nishikiyama advances given their long history with the Kazama family. But... But something's changed. Yes. At first it was just vague threats and attempts at Christian. Of course. But it seems recently the Nishikiyama family has come into... A massive sum of money. So they're bribing all the holdouts. 
Exactly. Their stake in the city has expanded nearly tenfold over the past year. And they don't care that their newfound territory is coming from another Tojo family. So much for honor. Of course, the Kazama family won't stand by and let their stores be snatched away. Tensions have been extremely high. Nobody's sure what may be the spark that sets off a full-fledged Yakuza war, but most people seem to believe it's coming one way or another. More likely than not, that's why the Nishikiyama family wants our club, to use as a base of operations during that war. Makes sense. It's not far from the Kazama office over in Millennium Tower, and it's one of the biggest shops in the town. Hello? I have no idea how to- I'm trying to like listen to it. I have yet to learn how to pronounce his name. I have something urgent to discuss with you. How quickly can you be in Tokyo? I'm actually already here. Really? Yeah, and I have something to talk about too. Where are you now? At Stardust. Stardust? But the cops are crawling over that place. Did something happened over there? Yeah, just a little run in with the Nishikiyama family. Don't worry, I handle it. Is everything okay with you? Why do you ask? Well, this guy from the Nishikiyama family, he said you're in danger. I see. Then we should meet sooner rather than later. Can you come now, Kiryu? Yeah. Does I'm office work for you? Of course. See you soon. <clears throat> Plus, if anybody knows about uh, Kazama, it'll probably be him. Well, any in the original grouping, I should say, I guess. Oh, and as much as it pains me to say, a lot of people out there want you dead. Try to keep a little profile on your way to the Millennium Tower. I will. Later. Almost makes it sound the way he said it. I know is punctuated. It almost is like, I'll do it later. <laughs> Looks like I'm in out. <coughs> <coughs> Well, the cops quit hanging around the club, and now they're swarming the tower. That's a problem. Guess I need to way around. I already have you covered. It's kinda a pain. First head east. <coughs> Crest towards Pink Street. I'll get you into the Millennium Tower without the cops ever even noticing. <coughs> Cops aside, there have been shady characters around town lately. I suggest you stay on your guard. What do they look like? Men in black suits sporting black sunglasses. <coughs> Here they're foreigners. Attempted to track down Diego Dejima. What? I'm not sure of the specifics, but it may have something to do with why Diego son was shot. Someone has really been pulling out all the stops to find him. Probably to see if he's still alive. I don't really want to entertain this thought, but if Diego truly is gone, anyone who hopes of becoming the next chairman will be met with some very welcome news. In any case, they're no friends of yours, Kiryu. Keep your guard up. I will. Thanks.
gonna pay him. Okay, he's just telling me where to go again. So, do you got anything in the club? Any, like... I'm sure there's... Yep, a locker key right here. I was like, I'm sure there's locker keys for this city, too, so... Alright, I can look. That's right, I can look around, so there can be, like... Locker keys up in the sky. I gotta remember that. I always forget that. Any of you sporting a locker key over here? Whole time movement. <laughs> this is so blocky. It looks like he's moving so fucking fast. Like how like I'm just like shiny? Is there shiny? Shiny? Is there shiny? Mm. Cops seem to only be interested in certain areas. Take the less patrolled streets and you might make it to Millennium Tower without getting caught. say bud. So the police are in here. Did something happen? I heard there was some trouble at Stardust. Maybe it's related to that. It's going right back to the way they used to be. it has been so much safer recently too. Okay, there's a cop guard in there, so that's not the route to go. Definitely not that route either. I'd say it'd be a roundabout way. Pink Street. Oh. 
bro. Why are you like up my ass here? Who are you guys? You want to fight too? What do you want? Yes, you don't speak Japanese. I get it. You're not here to chat. I won't go down easy, though. Sorry. This might hurt a bit. Let's go. The men in black. Fucking pliers. Bike again. Good. Yeah. <laughs> 
with that head pressure you. Bam. I'll take that trade. Let me guess, you're the ones looking for Diego. Tell me, who hired you? I'm not scared of gun, bro. You know how often I've been shot? Who were they? No time to think about that now. Gotta get to the Millennium Tower. What I can think about is, is there any shiny? <laughs> See it. Yes. Corner in a black suit. And a girl that just popped into existence. <laughs> you must be with those guys that just fought off. Hey you there, we need to talk. Get back here. Damn it. I need to know what those guys are up to. chase again. It's X to tackle when you're near a target. Successfully striking your target will reduce their stamina. You can check stamina via via the bars in the bottom right. Running into a passbar when dashing will momentarily stop your momentum. Avoid them at all costs. You would lose if you get too far away from the target. Okay, let's go. A during chase to jump obstacles. Damn it. <laughs> Just stuff and ran into the fucking wall. May be prompted to press A at certain points in a chase. Press the button at the right time to activate a special action. Now vault the car in front of you. choice to go over here. <laughs> Damn it. I can't keep this up. Actually, feel it. Okay. Where is? Oh, I see. So the stamina doesn't go back up. I guess. Gotcha. <laughs> I can cut corners at certain points.
damn it. I'm gonna run out of stamina again, but I'm getting it down more. Yeah. I wasn't expecting the chase thing to be, uh... That's a prompt thing. No! Fuck you, game. Switch to easy difficulty. Just learning something I've never seen in the games before. And fucking calling me out. Just because I'm trying to learn. <laughs> well hey, are you with those guys from before? Oh. Wait, don't touch my beautiful face. Go for the meh parts of me. Maybe my forearms? I've always thought they were too skinny. Yeah. Wait a sec. Kiryu? You're that guy I met. Mac, right? What are you doing up in the city? Didn't I tell you I was going to travel the world in search of the perfect shot? It just so happens the grimy old town was the first stop of my global getaway. Gotta keep it local before I let the Mac attack loose on the unexpected people of the world, you know? Forget I asked. Why did you run from me? Oh. Well, think about it. I just strolled up to see the moment and... To see the most amazing flash of fists break out in some random little alleyway. One low man versus an entire thug army. My eyes were super glued to that shit, man. So I kept watching, thinking maybe I'd finally snag the perfect shot I've been looking for for all these years. But the scuffle was over before my shutter even clicked. Then out of the blue, the guy who kicked those American asses to, to kingdom come starts coming my way. I was quaking in my goddamn boots. So I ran. Never would have guessed that macho man was you, Kiryu. You, uh, take photos of random street fights? Whatever. <laughs> oh. Me? Of course not, Kiryu. I know I've got that scary suit and all, but I wouldn't hurt a fly. Or anything else for that matter. By the way... You got some legs on you, Kiryu. They used to call me the scampering chicken on my high school track team. But man, you're on a whole nother level. You know what? I think it's fate that we cross paths here today. Actually, I'm sure of it. Nothing but the sweet string of destiny could bring us back together. Which reminds me, I got a special place I want to show you. Interested? As long as it's nothing weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Let's go. Actually, let's not. It's email time. <laughs> well, let's just forget I ever invited you. A buddy of mine in town just asked me if out for a drink. I'm not the kind of guy to say no to a drink. Sorry, gadget. Wait, you have friends? Heck yeah, I do. This one's a special friend over in that special place I was telling you about. And hey, we got pals in like 13 different time zones. Anyway, Kiryu, I'll roll out the red card before you sometime, yeah? Catch you later. Uh, well, he's an interesting guy. I'm sure I'll run into him again sooner or later. At least he's out of my hair, though. Now to get to the Millennium Tower. The scent of Mac. Sorry for getting you all tied up. 
earlier, Kiryu. But man, you don't waste any time getting what you want. By the way, my girlfriend's been hammering more and more Japanese into my brain hole, so I think I'm getting pretty good. Mind if I keep practicing with you? And before I forget, I got news for you. There are rumors floating around town, like a, a punch and fart. Some sauced up thugs have been pretending to pole dance outside of Club Asia. You know, the bikini bar? I hear you gotta go inside and watch the show first, and then you can walk out and watch another. Oh my god, look at all these question marks. So many side quests around here now. Still gonna progress the main story first because I wanna see what's going on. Give me a works. What's up, Kiryu? Okay. Just wanted to let you know my brother has a shop in the city. Oh, tell him I said hi if you ever stop by a shop later. Oh, so is that why he didn't, like... Because didn't we think it was the same guy? See what's going on. I'm here though. Is there any like locker key in one of these corners? You don't usually look in these corners when you're in the tower. And if there is, I don't see them. Yes, go to the Kazama family office. Good to see you, Kiryu. There's not much time, but I need you to be aware of what's going on. It concerns today's officers' meeting. Hear that right? You want the fourth chairman back in the fold? Mm, Horny bitch. <laughs> That's correct. With the sixth chairman indisposed, the Toja clan lacks an anchor to hold us steady. For now, we must assume the worst, meaning the only way forward is finding a satisfactory replacement. The shit? I must agree. Chairman the Hokio family. Mine? You fucking dog. Asking Kiryu to step in makes the most sense at present. Well, shit, it does. Captain, my oath was sworn to the sixth chairman. In any other circumstances, I should just waiting for Diego-san's return. Omi Alliance is breathing down our necks. Hence, I believe it prudent to find a stopgap, at least until Diego-san is well enough to rejoin us. Bunch of fucking cowards! 
This is about honor. Not sitting on your goddamn asses. All these stocks must have melted your brain into mush, man. I'm not on this. The only thing a Yakuza should be thinking about is getting revenge for their maybe dying chairman. Hamazaki? Hamazaki. Hamazaki. If my sources are right, the man who shot our sixth chairman was a dead ringer for the late Shintaro Kazama. I was like, what shit is he getting at? According to an aide to the sixth chairman, Diego was shot. He was alone in his office with a man who looked a lot like Patriarch Kazama. Not like he rose from the grave for this nonsense, though. Someone must have else must have pulled the trigger, Cap. You don't know who it was, do you? No. Not even in the slightest. You ask me, the best thing for the Tojiro right now is finding who filled our chairman with lead, figuring out who's gunning for us. We can discuss whether Kiryu should return after those are taken care of. You're wrong. Yeah. Solidifying the clan must be our primary course of action. If we fail to recruit Kiryu at this vital moment, we risk the entire organization crumbling to pieces. You pricks in love with the guy? You're jonesing for Kiryu that bad. I'll bring you his goddamn head on a plate. And Cap, I got another truth bomb for you. Ain't a chance in hell Nishikiyama family's taking orders from that waste of life. With what Kiryu did to the top boys before me, the family's taking a hard stance on this. Pretty sure your hard stance had you locked up for sex crimes while all that was going down. This ain't a damn joke. The Nishikiyama family about ready to slice that backstab bitch in half. I got half a mind to just get it over with and become the next chairman myself. Kiryu's an enemy of the Tojo clan. I'm gonna tear him limb for limb. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Oh yeah? By all means, get rid of Kiryu. But letting you Nishikiyama brats run the clan? Well that's just not gonna fly. Right, Captain? What are you talking about? This is no time to discuss the succession. Says the guy pining for Kiryu. Neither Kondo nor I want him back, you know. If we ask Kiryu to do us a solid now, he might just stick around and become seventh chairman. Can't let that slide, right, mine? <laughs> wonder what the mute mutt thinks of all this, too. Well, Majima? Oh, Sagoro's here literally the entire time. <laughs> You're just as much a part of this as we are. Hey, loyalty. Welcome on in. Morons. Do what you want to do. It doesn't matter to me either way. What are you playing at? Go on your wild ghost chase for Kazama. Or have Kiryu Chan bust your skulls open. I just don't give a damn. Oh, yeah, before I split. You three can brawl if you want. If you even think of going for my turf. 
Because Zamasan won't be the only ghost in town. Majima. Majima. Hona. Peace. <laughs> Kiryu, Kiryu, the storm's coming for you. Safe to assume some are already aware that you're back in the city. Bennett in particular. Right. For the time being, I expect each family to pursue its own goals. I'll do what I can to keep tabs on Kanda and hopefully track down the man who shot Diego. About that. Well. What in the. Last night, the man in the sketch shot the patriarch of the Ryujo family, a guy by the name of Nakahara. Are you sure this is what the attacker looked like? Uh, if it was recently, no, I haven't. Like, when I go live or, or and in any day that I stream... I generally am very busy because I mod pretty much until I go live as well. I did see when you post a bunch of art a few days ago, but that was the last I saw. I thought you were asleep, Sky. I didn't believe it myself at first, but the girl who watched it all go down drew this afterward. So. Which means the six chairmen in this Nakahara were assaulted by the same man. The pieces are falling into place. What do you mean? More likely than not, Diego's involvement in the deal is what led to his being attacked. You mean the resort? Yes. As you're well aware, the Tojo aided the Ministry of Land, inf Infrastructure, and the Transportation in acquiring the land necessary to build Minister Suzuki's proposed resort. All right, but Diego told me you guys backed out, and that the government was trying to negotiate with the locals instead. They were, but it seems someone else has started scooping up the land. There must be another party involved in all this. Speaking of, the man in that sketch didn't just shoot Nakahara, he also stole the deed to his land. What? I bet the man stopped, er, the man showed up asking for the deed and then put a bullet in Nakahara when he refused to hand it over. It's safe to assume the assault on the six chairman was for the same reason, specifically for the land your orphanage rests on, Kiryu. Yeah, I'll check it after stream. I, I generally, once I get off stream, I spend about like an hour catching up on Twitter, Discord, all that. Maybe actually two hours, depending on what I'm doing, or how much went on while I'm live. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully get some sleep. Loyalty. Yeah, I'll see it then for sure. I have I have Tay's Discord on full notification, so I I see everything there. Even if I don't respond to everything, I see everything.
I'm just not always looking like like I said when I'm on well, technically like Sky said when I'm on stream. <laughs> Because my phone is my Discord and my phone right now is plugged into my stream and I have an earbud in so I can hear if I have audio issues or not. So I'm hearing myself on a delay. But yeah, sounds good, loyalty. So Diego knows who these people are. In all likelihood, yes. The truth of it is that resort deal could have brought massive cash flow into the Tojo clan. Minister Suzuki was eager to remind us of that fact at any possible moment. But Diego was firm in his resolve. He refused. Why? I think you know. It was because of your orphanage, Kiryu. Once he learned you would be evicted and your kids would lose their home, he washed his hands of the whole thing. So he put himself in harm's way to keep us safe. Where is he now? Somewhere safe. I checked him into a hospital. Which one? I think it's best you don't know. Can't have you going there and risk someone following you. You just have to trust me for the time being. I can do that. How's he doing, though? Bouncing on a knife's edge at the moment. The next week or so will determine which way he falls. Right. <sighs> Morning, buddy. One thing, though. This man really shot both of them. How did he get from beyond to Tokyo? Kara was attacked right around 4 o'clock yesterday. As for Jago, it was about 6.30. That leaves a gap of two and a half hours. Which is about how long the flight takes. He wouldn't have had time to get to the Tojo HQ from the airport. What the? Must be a blackout. Let me guess. Nope. Strange, the rest of the city seems unaffected. They're coming for him. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I'm doing good, Spuddy. Hopefully you're doing too. Cure you. Did they hit the other guy? Fucking hell. Kashoksa. Kashoksa. Taking out the Kazama family for fuck's sake. Kill you. This man. Track down the one working with him. There's someone else? I'm almost certain. I think they're supporting the deal, trying to push it through. Someone in the Tojo. So this person betrayed the clan? Yes. I need you to find him. Can you do that? Course. Damn. I mean, he made it. He lasted a, quite a long time over the series, but damn. <laughs> He's just pretending it's ketchup. <laughs> I, ho I wish. There's a lot of ketchup.
game plan. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Don't run. Don't got time for this. Stop. I said stop. It's like it shook them off. Can't go back that way though. Huh? Hey, you there. This is no time to get hauled in by the cops. I have to get away somehow. Get to the pink this pink a destination on the mini map before the cop can catch you. Here's the floor up. Uh, probably so far zero still. Just because I really like Goro. Um, but honestly, so far like none of them uh I have considered like bad. But obviously, I'm only up to three now, so I still have quite a few to go through as well. So maybe later on, I'll have a different favorite. Oh, uh, I, I so seldom check Instagram. <laughs> okay. okay, Sky, take your time. Uh, I'll I'll remember to check Instagram after. Um, as for how many there are, um, for the main series, um, let's see, there's zero. Two, And then seven is like a dragon. So there's eight in the main series right now. Uh, and then there's, uh, they're working on, uh, like a dragon too. And if you're not counting, um, main ones, cause there's one that's completely unrelated side story that's coming out. Uh, I think it's January. Might be, it might be February. It's either like January or February. Uh, and there's one that's going to take place like in the time of Samurais and stuff, but be like all the characters from Yakuza that to my understanding is not canon. Uh, and then not part of this story but apparently there are some references or something and it's in this city uh is judgment and uh and i f oh, i forget what it is is judgment and there's it's something judgment either way there there's two games that are like a side story that's in this city as well so by the like, middle of next year, I think there's going to be, like, 12 different Yakuza games or something like that. It Like, if you count side stuff as well. But of the main series, uh, these are all connected. Like, literally, I would never recommend somebody starting, like, at 3. Because you will miss out on so much stuff. 
like zero, one, two, and three at least, uh, all feel like one giant story. And I'm gonna assume for four, five, and six, it will continue off of these pretty good. Um, but like a dragon is the first one you're not playing as Kiryu, so maybe that one is a little more independent of the main series, but. It's still connected. That makes sense, loyalty. I would have probably assumed it was you just because I know like you've had another Discord and stuff, but also uh unless you have something weird on there. Cause I know like Tay and uh my friend Sam both got like fake Instagrams made of them. But it had like funky fan only sites on them and stuff. <laughs> But yeah, get your drink and uh, get some sleep. Or finish your drink, I should say. Okay, let's see. So I have to go. I have to go so far. Hopefully it shows. I'm so failing this at first. Press and hold the right trigger to dash, A to jump. It combines you with either of the bumpers, but you won't be able to tell what's ahead of you. Okay, so it still... still tells me. Pretty much telling me where to go, because it's blocked off everything, so... Ah, oh, shit. Back up. I said, let the fuck go. I used a lot of my stamina. Damn it, I was right there too. I ran out of stamina right before. Yeah, these chases weren't in the last games, so I'm not too familiar with them. Like the hardest one, I think, either. Oh, one of the hardest is not an easy one either. Damn it! I'm not gonna make it there now. Yeah, I can't get grabbed. Yeah, I can't get grabbed at all.
I wonder if there's a way to let in... And this is the most fucking insulting thing. You fail it twice and it's like, do you want to switch to an easy difficulty? No, fuck you, game. <laughs> Like you slow down at certain points. Mm. Ah, fuck. And you jump there. Yeah, it, it pissed me off so much when the game does that. I don't think I can make it if I get grabbed once. Especially if I run into any of them. I forgot. Even bumping into them, you lose some stamina. wonder if... Wiser... Yeah, I'm okay with this. I want to test something. I want to see how fast the ones that are following you follow you if you're not like running. Yeah. That... Wait, can you just? Uh... No, you can't do that. You're gonna have to run like the entire time, I think. Yeah, just let me. Oh, I'm gonna check the this. Just getting used to the path is all. But yeah, I think running from the start is still the best bet. I actually like this despite like failing it miserably. Well, the, you can't stay on the sidewalk for all of them because the people and the guards are there too, so... Right there, there's a cop. And like, people are on the sidewalk there. Over there. Okay, have a good day. It works, buddy. Uh, Looking good. He's there. Hey. Date-san. You have known all this was a Kazuma. Kiryu special? We need to talk. How about a drink, for old times sake? Sleep well, loyalty. Come on, I've got a little bar, like, not too far from here. We'll be safe there. Stick close, though. I thought the cops are gonna just disperse now that they've lost track of you. Right. Even if they stop us, though. I should be able to talk my way out of Just try not to do anything too suspicious near an officer, okay? <laughs> I'll try. Morning, Striker. How you doing?
Please finish this deck. Natural cure. I got it. I got it. Just, you know. Motherfucker taking sharp turns as fuck. Good to hear. going man you getting stuck in all the NPCs how is my blood on my jacket not suspicious like bro It took three minutes to install the game. That's that's nice. <laughs> this is the place, Kiryu. Wait. What? You surprised? Just wait until you see the inside. Not drinking alone tonight? Not tonight, Mama. That's it. This is... Yep. Serena's finally back in business. New Mama's really spruced the place up, though. Sure. And the kid will be in soon, so fix one up for him, too. She's pretty young to be owning a bar. Are you telling me? But she's got the guts of a much older woman. Who are you calling old? Here, drink. Didn't mean for you to hear that. Mama, you mind stepping out for a bit? A friend and I have some catching up to do. Of course, take all the time you need. This place is practically a second home by now. No chance we'll get found here. Don't worry. But that's it. How'd you know where I'd be? Because you feel me in. With your track record, I knew it wouldn't be long till you were the center of another mess. About time. You got the stuff? Don't say it like that. Make this sound like some kind of drug deal. Here's your drink. So it's pure alcohol. You trying to poison me, Mama? Splash some water in there. Come right up. There it is. Nice work. Don't pretend you're my boss. Look at me taking orders from the new guy. You're a freaking senior editor. And those are? There's just a few things for you to look at. These are the five current Tojo clan officers. 
What are you getting at? Truth of it is, my tattoo has changed a little. You're working for a paper? Yep. Kiryu, this garbage you're dealing with? It all ties back to the story I'm chasing. What story? The link between the Tojo clan and the resort Minister Suzuki so keen on. This fire is getting hot. Take some time and go over the key players. Don't want you getting burned. <laughs> you barely saw it installing and updating. The That's always a positive. Just boom, boom. Done. Oh, why, why can't we know about Goro? Let's, let's look at this uh, horny asshole. This cue ball here is the third patriarch of the Nishikiyama family. A guy by the name of Kanda. Nishikiyama. Yep. Same group of thugs you took down three years ago. I don't think I've ever met this one, though. Not surprising. He got tossed in jail for two years on sexual assault charges. Guys like him only care about two things, babes and brawls. If Nishikiyama was still head in the family, this chump would have been the guy who polished his shoes. So how's he ended up patriarch? Once he was a free man, he started expending his share of the turf in the city, mostly by brute force. Would have been two years back, right after all that business with Ryuji Goda and the Omi. Guy came onto the scene right as the police started backing off from the Tojo. Perfect timing, too. I mean, that's unheard of for most things in general. Most things don't take just like. Two minutes. <laughs> Unless it's a really small, like, artistic game or something, and it's, like, not as, uh, detailed. Oh, also, Striker. And just because I can, and, uh,. And tease you with it, uh, after stream, I'm gonna make a tiny little announcement that, uh, you'll probably be interested in. I mean, the, the thing that I meant about that when I said, like, smaller and artistic and stuff is, uh, is like the size of the game in general like when i downloaded the remastered version of like final fantasy 7 like the old one not the remake that one went really really fast because it was a play it was a playstation one or two game i think it was i think i think final fantasy 7 was playstation one So it was like very small in comparison to like a newer game that has a lot more uh, details in it. <clears throat> so even if it's a Final Fantasy game, like it still depends on what all is surrounds the game itself. No, you'll have to wait until after stream. <laughs> Wasn't long until he snapped up practically all the Kazama family's territory. And what's he after? 
Hojo chairmanship, if I had to guess. We won't be giving up on that dream without a fight either. Women, land, they stop at nothing to get what he wants. It's all about power with this guy. Then, is it possible he's the one who shot, shot him? Chances are high, yeah. Who's next? Let's do this dude. Dude that blew up the restaurant owner. Well, tell him hi for me. <laughs> and yep, you'll have to you ha you have to wait. Uh, this amateur porn star wannabe is a guy most people know as the Emperor of Hama. Patriarch of the Hamazaki family. Hama? You mean Yokohama? Yep. After Snake Flower Tyrad got pushed out of town in the conflict three years ago, Hamazaki arrived on the scene and made it his own. This guy's a tough nut to crack, though. For some reason, he stayed buddy buddy with the Chinese mafia whose turf he snatched up. The snake flower tyro. Mm -hmm. That's not the only thing raising eyebrows either. Turns out his family only got 10 guys on their books. What? I know, you think a guy taking on the, the snake flower on their own ter home field would need at least 500 or even 1,000 boys backing him up. But he waltzed into town, claimed ownership without ever even lifting a finger. How is that possible? If I had to guess, I'd say he's been working behind the scenes with the Chinese Mafia. Smuggling illegal goods into the country for them, laundering their money, you know. Wouldn't be surprised if it turned out they were using him, though. So he's working with the Mafia. Hard to say for sure, but if all this Tojo stuff ties back to Okona Resort's deal, I'd bet... Hamazaki was the first in line drafting the blueprints. And he and his Chinese hookups are looking for a slice of the pie. Probably, so they can set up a casino there. Either above board or otherwise. Okay, now show me the one that doesn't seem as crazy. This is the chairman of the Kuyo Ho clan. One of those new money types who's got more than he knows what to do with spends most of his time downtown. Often seen driving flashy foreign cars, staying the life of a young, rich businessman. From the sounds of it, most of his fortune sprung out of inside trading. It's a little on the side coming from the real estate. The guy is essentially white collar Yakuza. Huh? He's also the one providing the Toja clan with practically all their funding. As I said, he's loaded. Most of the aid's been going to Kanda from the Nishikiyama family, though. How does a guy like this end up working with Kanda? He wasn't at first, up until a few years ago. He's little more than a run-of-the-mill venture capitalist. Seems Kanda's the one who... Convinced him to join up. Ties like that, it wasn't long till you know, I was swearing an oath with Diego Dejima and the Tojo clan. Right. Yeah. 
Loyalty to the sixth chairman. With how beefy his own ranks have grown lately, he doesn't need Kanda's muscle anymore. If anything, I'd say he's distancing himself from Kanda. Are you going to tell me about Goro, though? Tell me something before he died. Said someone's trying to push the resort deal through. Someone in the Tojo clan. Then he was right. And the only four Tojo boys... That wasn't the only thing he said. Tell me the traitor is working with the man who shot Diego. You know who pulled the trigger? And it wasn't just Diego. The man who owns the land they want to build the resort on. Nakahara. They shot him too. Is this some kind of sick joke? This almost seems gone. How is this possible? I'm not sure it's really him. But we have this man who put bullets in both Diego and Nakahara. The, the foreigners in black suits. That helicopter attack. Who are we up against here? Doesn't matter, all we can do now is weed out the traitor in the Tojo clan. I tried digging up some dirt on this guy in the sketch. We tracked down the one who probably off him. Kanda. Okay. We settled? I'll dig around for anything on the man in this sketch. You get after Kanda. Right. Rumor has it, Kanda gets his boys to haul a girl up to his hotel room every night. If anyone's gonna know where to find him, it's them. Mama, you mind if we use your bar as a sort of base of operations? Hmm? Don't worry, we won't disrupt your business or anything. Just stick us in a back room. Forget we even exist. Well, Mama? Hmm. I guess you are one of my best customers. Oh, what the heck. Go ahead. Warina. Appreciate it, Mama. Just stay out of the customer's hair. Okay? Of course. Of course. Sorry about this, Mama. Oh, it's nothing. This is the least I can do with how often Date frequents my bar. It's rare you don't see him in here. Glass of whiskey in hand. <laughs> Besides, Kiryu, you're kind of my type. Ayo? Hey you're what? Do I hear a tinge of jealousy in your voice? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Aw, you're blessing. Kiryu. Kiryu, can you please just go find Kanda already? <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them bully you while I'm gone. I have access to a hideout. Here I can save, move items, reminisce on past events, and view your play stats. Furthermore, your health will recover while at a hideout. Anything gay? Pleasure to meet you. Name's. What is it? I'm Desison's boss. If you couldn't tell, which you probably couldn't.
もしもし Hello? Rikia, I'm really pissed at you. Rikia. Sorry, Rikia. I never should have said you could come. So, what's up? Did something happen down there? No, it's not why I'm calling. Mm -hmm. And what is it? Well, I'm in the city. What? Why? Now you wanted me to stay there. I wasn't gonna just sit by while you went and found the bastard who shot the boss. Mikia. Mikia. Oh, and I left. Mikio in charge of the orphanage. The kids will be fine with him. Don't worry. I guess as long as someone's looking after them. Sorry, I know you were just trying to protect me. It's okay. I'm sorry for just leaving you there in the dark. Okay. More importantly, where are you? Huh? I, uh, well, I don't got the slightest idea. What's going on over there in that alleyway? But surely you can figure out what street you're on. Not really. I can't tell up from down in this freaking place. It's like a maze. And you didn't think to get a map before you showed up here? Sorry. It's alright, I'll be there as soon as I can. In the meantime, try and find a landmark to wait at. What, you mean like a tall building or something? Anything that stands out, let me know once you have a place. Gotcha. Talk to you later. Yep. What the fuck's going on over here? There's a huge building up the street. Wow, that thing's freaking massive. I've never seen one so big. And now I, I know I'm really in Tokyo. The street I'm on has lots of stores. The building he's talking about is probably Millennium Tower, no shit. He also mentioned a street with a lot of stores. Uh, I don't remember the names of the streets, but... Let's just guess one. Let's try the West End. fuck is going on here? It's like he's harassing her, but I can't do anything about it. So it's a side quest. Off. So she's calling. Hope she seems okay. Hello, Uncle Kaz. Hey, everything all right down there? Oh yeah, everything's fine. So let's have the phone call then. Oh, come on, can I just give you a call now and then? It doesn't always have to be for emergencies. Fair enough. Are you eating okay? Jeez, you worry too much about us, Uncle Kaz. Of course I am. Alright then. So, what's the matter? Well, I was wondering how long it's going to be till you come home. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe a few days? Oh, in that case, can you pick something up for me before you leave the city? It depends on what you want. Well, could you give me the newest issue of five? Five? You mean show in five? Yep, that's the one. Surprised you knew what it was, Uncle Cass. Usually you're pretty clueless about this stuff like this. Hey, show in five is pretty mainstream. Anyway, I want you to get me the latest issue. The one out this week? Yeah. I'm announcing the winner is the rewards in this issue. I'm super pumped. Hold on, don't they sell that magazine in this issue? Why don't you buy it yourself? This is the kind of stuff I give you allowance for. I can't. Hey, Chief. 
I'm serious. It's out in Tokyo, but it's not out here. Not yet. What do you mean? Wait, don't you know? They always release stuff later here than on the mainland. Right. Anyway, I just gotta know what happens next. I'll even pay you back when you get here. Please, just get me one. Guess it wouldn't hurt to swing by a convenience store and take a look. That copy he wanted. Be over the moon when I get it back. Can you like fuck off? Huh. Any clubs with cute girls? Mm. I'm sorry. I'm not too familiar with hostess clubs. It doesn't have to be a hostess club. Any place with cute girls is fine. Just watching them is super relaxing, you know. Oh, what about that bar, Serena? On <laughs> you under there's a total knockout. Serena, didn't that place close down after its owner was killed on account of some yakuza trouble? Yeah, but it recently got a new owner. They're calling it New Serena. Really? I had no idea. All right then. Let's go see this knockout of yours. Swear to God. What is with these NPCs that like super glue themselves to you? You look like you got some fat pockets, man. I bet you share the wealth. Do I gotta beat it out of you? I think you're a little drunk, man. Down the fucking bat. I like knocked it out of the one hand and then the other one picked it up. Oh damn it. It's like I thought. I don't think I need any cash right now. Here. The fuck did I get? Seriously, what the fuck was that? So it has a lot of bounce to it. The fuck. Finally found a good landmark. A convenience store. I'm out in front of it. I have no idea, so. I don't remember streets, so. Did, uh... Where'd the minimap go? Is there like a button to turn it off when I turn it off? No. 
actual fuck is this? Hey, you alright? I'm fine. Just, just leave me alone. It's like he's having a rough time. Maybe I should lend him a hand. That'd be a good Samaritan. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The hell? What do you have so many copies of Shannon 5? Yes, I'm well. Find a way to deliver them? Yeah. No. I bought all of them. You bought all of them? What for? Uh, well. No, no, I've gotta hurry. Why? What's up? I've gotta get to this important meeting at a cafe. Sorry, but I really have to go. Maybe you should put that back, that bag into a coin locker before you run off to your meeting. It's fine. I'll get rid of them that later. Wait, get rid of them? Anyway, thanks for the help. But I've gotta get going. The fuck? There he goes. Why is he going to throw away all the magazines? He said he was going to the cafe for a meeting. Might be a good idea to check on that guy later. It's so weird that it's not... Let's. Goddess of Children, name me that. Block of Brass. Comfy Souls. This, the way this stone diffuses light makes it seem kind of mythical. Maybe I can use it for something. What I can use this shit for. We're not having a mini map. No sign of him. Where are you? I'm too fond of this wild you chase. Just have to try something else.
ありがとうございました。There we go. This is a thumbstick. You can turn off the mini map. I must have clicked it in by accident. way over here but let's check it out So this was a positive trip. Even if it was negative. For uh, him. We're all in pretty bad mood, you know? Mind if we take it out on you? The hell's that look for? Maybe we should just try to kill you instead. Take this. Damn, that bike went flying. Sorry, it, it's nothing personal. Um, here, sorry. Thanks for the drink. Problem. He's staring at me? It's like he's heading outside. Do you need something? Oh, no. I was just reading this article. What ain't tower bombing? That magazine must be three years old. Looks like I'm in it. Yeah, that's me, alright. What of it? No, well, it's not you. I'm looking for this man. The one behind you in this picture? He's my father, and he's been gone for 14 years. He used to run a money lending company in the city, but 14 years ago, he shut it all down and went into hiding. I've been looking for him ever since. So that's your dad? Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I saw this article a couple years back. It's him, alright. Mm. I thought he might be somewhere in the city, so I came here. 
But so far, nobody's recognized him. Then I saw you at this convenience store, the man in the picture with my father. The guy in this photo does look kind of familiar. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Just thinking. You could try asking the person who took this photo. Oh, you might be right. But how would I reach them? Just call the magazine's editorial desk. They should know. Oh, right. Of course. Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah, crap. Battery's dead. Fine. I can make the call. Pass that magazine. Editorial desk. How can I help you? Yeah, I had a question about one of your old articles. Let's see. Go ahead. About three years back, you printed an article on the Millennium Tower bombing in the city. Who wrote that piece? Three years back? Oh, the Millennium Tower story. And you want the author, huh? Well, you're talking to him. I'm trying to find the man in that article's picture. Gosh, let's see. Pretty sure that's a big time Yakuza. They call him the Dragon of Jijima, I think? No, don't worry about that guy. I need the one behind him. Kind of homeless looking? That I don't know. We don't exactly keep track of all the random people in our pictures. Besides, that was three whole years ago. There's no way to find out? You'd ask the photographer, I guess. He might know something. One of your staff? Actually, that specific photo we got from a contract photographer. Freelancer type. You probably have better luck asking him yourself. How can you get in touch with him then? His name's Inai. And at this time of day, let's see, he'd be out drinking in the Champion District. Place called Chillock. Alright, thanks for your help. guy you want is a chill at Barn Champion District. The photographer, you mean. Name's Inai. And he's at the bar. After all these years, I finally got a lead. Thank you so much. Now, I'm a step closer to finding that bastard. That bastard? What, your dad? He's finally going to get what's coming to him. Hey, what are you talking about? Doesn't matter. Thanks again for everything. See you around. Get what's coming to him. Maybe I should check out the bar myself. Eventually, but I want to keep doing the main story. I just was like, I'm passing this one, so I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> Is the M store? And he's on the other side. Okay. Swear to God, I'm gonna punch that dude in the face. Get out there, find me a stand-in for Kurochan. But even if I do find somebody, it's way too late. And how the hell are we supposed to film this thing? Without our star, we're nothing. And? What am I supposed to do about it? I feel terrible about all this. You gave me the star and roll, and then I had to go and break my arm in the men's room. Hmm? Hey! What about him? Oh, he's perfect. Something wrong? What do you mean? You wanna be in a movie, Hotshot? A movie? Why me? Oh, 
Tyler here was our lead, but he got injured during rehearsal. And without a lead, our hopes of completing this film are pretty much screwed. Hi there. <laughs> or Kudo for short. Okay. I think I get the picture. Anyway, you've got just the face and build we're looking for. In fact, I think you fit this role like a glove. So how about it? Being in a movie might not be so bad. Okay, I'll do it. Hot damn. That just made my day. What kind of role is it? It's an over-the-top action scene. So basically, we need you to beat the crap out of some thugs and make it look pretty. We can do that. What's your name, anyway? Kiryu. Alright then, Kiryu. Let's get you right to the studio. Beat some crap out of people? I'm, I'm good. Look at you, Kiryu. That's exactly the image we're looking or we're going for must be some kind of samurai flick here's a script you only have to worry about tatsu's the hero's lines memorize them as best you can I come to avenge my father <laughs> Let's see, what's actually all of this, though? Burst into the compound. What the hell do you want? I've come to avenge my father. You've got some nerve busting in here. So you want to see your precious father. I'm guessing they're going to do it all again, but... Oh, I'll send you to meet him in hell. Yeah, I have a specific order here. Okay, short hair. Uh, long hair, bearded, and bald. I wonder if I have... I, I'm guessing just... Because of the way they have it certain. Uh, I'm guessing I just have to beat them in that order. I don't actually have to do what they say. Like I don't have to do a specific move that busts his head in or whatever. Very impressive. Fight me one on one. Like a real man. 1v1 me. <laughs> Hmm. We can discuss that once you've defeated my finest assassin. Assassins, get out here. Assassin enters. This is the man who killed your father, and he's more skilled than you can imagine. So prepare to die. Okay, what do I gotta do? A series of raging techniques. Essence... Of terrain smashing somebody into the wall uh, killing another one with a triple sword slash essence of weaponry I don't know if I have that And finally, smashing a Jeruma doll over the last one's head with a karate chop. I wonder if those are just default ones. And let's see, what else do we got here? Bunch of worthless dogs, I suppose. I'll have to deal with you myself. No need to worry. 
I'll make quick work of you. Uh, nonsense, you regret you ever crossed me when I'm through with you. This time has come face to face with him. Wow, unleashes an amazing array of attacks, defeating him for good is much harder bargain. Tuts is beaten with an inch of his life. But he manages to win with a miraculous comeback, so I have to lose health. Let's see. And my loyalty can't be bought. I mean, that. Is like the whole thing of loyalty. <laughs> you can't buy it. Let's see. So this is legendary tattoo. Tatsu turns his back on a nearly dead Yamashiro and exits Finn. Uh probably at least the lines. I don't know about the fighting. Looks like your typical Samurai B movie. I wonder if this is anything to do with the new one that's coming out, the Insay or whatever. You bet. Feel free to ad lib if you can't remember it word for word. Just as long as it works well. Saying the lines as written can sound wooden sometimes. Also, do your best with the action sequences. Performing them as written would be nice, but we'll still pay you either way. Got it. Let's get this thing rolling, then. We're all set. Alright, Kiryu. What the hell do you want? You kill my father, and I want payback. Come to avenge my father. Come to avenge my father. You got some nerve busting in here. So you want to see your precious father, huh? Oh, well, I'll send you to meet him in hell. You're bald, so you're not who I want. You're the long hair, so... You, you're who I want. No, no, no. Who do I want next? I think it was long hair next. You're the other one. It's that criteria. I think the bald one was last. Let's do it, you fine man, just the two of us. <laughs> Fight me to the death like a man. Fight me one on one like a real man. <laughs> huh. We can discuss that once you've defeated my finest assassin. Assassin, get in here. This is the man who killed your father, and he's more skilled than you can imagine. So prepare to die.
Gotta be the triple sword slash. And that's the Druid also. So now I just need to work up some heat. Bunch of worthless dogs, I suppose I have to deal with you myself. I'll make you apologize to my father. In hell. No need to worry, I'll make quick work- Wait, what? I, the last one. No need to worry, I'll make out quick with you. Uh, We just changed it from a B-rated samurai movie with that line if we take it. <laughs> no need to worry. I'll make quick work of you. Huh? Nonsense. You regret you ever crossed me when I'm through with you. Said I needed to beat you when I was in red. Can I use I can't use items, so I do gotta be a little careful though. I wonder where my health goes red. It's really 
Oh, there we go. Damn it, it's stun lag me now. <laughs> Listen, work for me. I'll make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. Sound good? Let's forget about this whole thing with your father. Think about what's best for tomorrow. How much money you got in mind? Keep your money. I want justice. My loyalty cannot be bought. So this is the legendary Tatsu. Okay, cut. That's a wrap, people. Good job, everyone. How was I? Nice work, here you. You stuck to the script just as written. It was almost perfect. It needed a little something. I think it's not my thing, I guess. I haven't watched many samurai films. Samurai films? Well, whatever. Anyway, I've got your payment waiting. Nice work out there. Kiryu, you were shining like a star back there. It's as if your eyes have been have seen death itself and the scars of war. Right? Doesn't he have that vibe? Yeah, sure. If you're not already with the production agency, you should sign a contract with us. Right, guys? Tell me I'm not crazy here. That's a terrible idea. What are you saying? And why is everyone lined up? Sorry, but I'm not interested in acting. I should be leaving now anyway. Thanks for leaving our pinkies on. I mean, I'm tickled pink to have worked with you. What's that into you guys? The legendary Yakuza, based on a true story. Huh? <laughs> You got a uh, Sakura Storm as a bonus. Oh good, it healed me too. Yeah, I got a sword. I can give you what I get, don't got. Quit lying and pay back that money, jackass. What the? <laughs> You'll never catch me like that. So... Damn it! That asshole is quick. What's going on here? Huh? What the hell? Out of the way. I'm in a hurry. Here. Shit! You got away. Damn it, look what you... Wait, are you? You wouldn't happen to be... You are Kiryu, fourth chairman of the Tojo clan, are you? That's right. Do we know each other? You don't know me, but I sure as hell know you. I can't believe I ran into you here. I didn't think I'd ever get to meet you. I heard this rumor you would left the city. Really, it's an honor, sir. Hey, Parrish. <laughs> and right, y Yakuza is going to be a year-long thing at least. I'm still going to be playing Yakuza next year. <laughs> there's, there's so many in the series. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a long. How you doing, Parish? Huh. Oh, sorry about that. Call me. I'm a debt collector. 
<laughs> the one day the machines will rise up and remember me. <laughs> I mean, for how much you say, damn my bot, yeah, my bot will remember you. Welcome back, Sky. So, Lone Shark, then. Yeah, I never made it into the Yakuza like you, but I always looked up to you during your old loan collecting days. Hell, we've got legends of stuff you did collecting for the Jijima family. Yeah, you keep saying you've been playing around in the snow. <laughs> Glad you're just staying warm. We don't have snow here yet. They keep saying pot potentially, and then it gets warmer and stuff. And is that butt you're going to sleep, Sky? You came back to to, to say good night. <laughs> Is that so? Not much a happy ending to those legends, though. I got into loan collecting because I wanted to climb the Yakuza ladder, just like you. Oh yeah. Well, good luck with that. But there's this guy who's really pissing me off. He's got the cash to pay, but he just keeps running off. And that's not all. This creep's a real piece of work. He tries to trick women and even his own friends into paying off his loans for him. Hey, I know. Do you think you could help me catch him? I'd really like to see your work. Yeah, we've we've had rain and stuff a lot this uh past couple weeks. But uh and I think a couple times that it rained, they were like, "Oh, it's potential that it could be snow." And then like it didn't and it got warm the next day. <laughs> Shouldn't be too long though, and uh, the snow will start coming out though. This guy sounds like a real scumbag. I guess I could help you out. I really appreciate it. And hey, maybe I can learn a thing or two by watching your work. So, what do you want me to do? Well, I just got a tip the bastard just made a million yen off the horse races. I want him to pay off our loan before he uses it all up. This is a photo of him. Jerk owes us one million yen, but he's an idiot when it comes to money. He just spends whatever he's got in his pocket. We gotta find him and get him back to pay back that loan before he spends it all. This guy really does sound like a pain in the ass. I'll call you whenever I get a tip about his whereabouts. Beat him up or whatever you have to do. Just get that money back. <laughs> Whatever you can get back from me, I'll give you 10%. Just remember that the faster you catch him, the bigger reward you'll get. Got it. I'll give you my phone number. Call me when you know where he's at. Okay, will do. Thanks again.
Let's see. And there's a thing in there. He's not here either. I could have sworn this would be right. Hello? Mr. Ike, where the heck are you? I've looked all over town. Look, there's some serious shit going down here. These creepos are trying to nab some lady in the uh, park. I'll be there soon. There's a bunch of people that I don't think even knew what their recaps were, or knew where to find it. I didn't actually know about it, honestly, until uh, I started seeing them being posted. I'm not going to sit around and let them snatch this girl. I'm going in. Rash. <laughs> like, I was like, don't do anything. I'm going in. Rash. Why do you think that would stop it? Oh. That kind of thing, okay. <laughs> I do think that some of... The thing is, like, it's a little unfair, I think, that it's only four, just because the the potential of, like, somebody that only streams, like, once a week is not going to be in anybody's yearly. Because, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I think it's good to see that and all the stats, but I also think it's a little unfair to the people that don't stream as much. Because I'm pretty sure there should have been a few people that were, like, probably right under my tops. But the reason is that they don't stream as much. Whereas, like so many stream every day and I know some people per blocked out some of theirs because they're not like talking to the people anymore or whatnot I think I saw like four different people that were like hesitant to post their thing because they don't want to support the people that were on their top <laughs> Yeah, I saw, like, four different people that blocked out, like, half their top four. And that was because of that. I'm not surprised any of mine were my top, because... Three of them are the ones that I've known the longest and lurked as much as possible. And uh, the other one being Finny. I love Finny. 
and she streams so long, I'm not surprised that she beat out some other people. I actually, today, I, I fell asleep before Finny started, and I'm somebody raided into her. So I woke up in Finny's stream. <laughs> Pretty much, Parrish. You were, I think, the month after I started? I knew Sam would be in my top, and I knew Savannah would as well. I'm not surprised that Tay was, but I have missed a lot of Tay's streams. Like recently, because, well, not recently as much as uh, for a while there, because she was doing it in the afternoon when I was asleep. That's why I think there should have been like, I think it, I feel like it should have been the top 10 because I feel like some people, honestly, Sky, I feel like you would probably be pretty high in mine as well, but because you haven't had as consistent schedule and they only do it by hours. That you didn't get into the top because I've known the ones that did longer and they stream longer. That's why I think, like, they should have had a few more, because the people that stream the longest, like, like me, for example, I stream a long time, so if somebody's in, like, every one of my streams, they're gonna put a lot of hours into my stream. Like, one of my streams is, like, the length of somebody's entire week. Yeah, that's exactly. Uh what I mean cuz depending on how long you've uh is like some of these streams every day. swinging through the jungle of life like a monkey hopped up on banana juice anyway i just got word the bowling alley in the city is a hot spot for weird shit i don't know if there's a grain of salt to that but you might want to go take a peek bt doves i've been learning a ton of japanese from this dvd i picked up the other day i had no idea you could use tentacles for that <laughs> yeah, I said do it, but you you need to only do it that long if uh, you're okay. Uh, 
Like, if you feel okay, go for it. <laughs> I'm right a lot. Sometimes. Every now and again. <laughs> okay, let's go kick this person's ass in the park. <laughs> These are our stomping ground, asshole. Now step aside and hand us the girl. We don't have time for your bullshit heroics. The hell are you, huh? Sorry, I'm yelling. So I had to come check it out. Should have gone the other way, pal. Now turn around before we make you. This is the girl? The one they were trying to take? Yep, they wouldn't stop, even after she refused. Is that so? Who gives a shit? Nothing you can do about it anyway. We're unfrickin' stoppable. What's that supposed to mean? It means fix your eyes on this. Nishiki. Oh, I don't give a shit about the Nishikiyama family. <laughs> They're all assholes. Damn right we are. Well, those big britches of yours feeling a little tighter now? Not exactly. You guys are just small time street thugs. We're what? Nice work. Huh? What do you mean? These are just the guys I was looking for. What are you two babbling about? I'll explain later. Pikia, there's a fly buzzing in my ear that I'd really like to swat. Let me help, at least. I'm the one they were messing with in the first place, you know. Fine by me. The more the merrier. Think you're hot shit, scumball? <laughs> you bottom rungers never change, do you? What was that? All you do is hide behind your family crest like it's some kind of shield. But it's not. You're not tough. You're small. Hey. Oh yeah? I'm bigger than you, fuckface. Bro, I'm 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 literally the fourth chairman. <laughs> then prove it. What that that was an interesting camera angle. Much free shield. <laughs> you guys ass beat. Ugh. 
No more. What? Already? Guess the Nishika family crest is too heavy for you after all. <laughs> the hell were you thinking trying to kidnap this girl? What happened to Yakuza having pride, huh? Look, it's not what you're thinking. Our boss just sent us out on the prowl for the biggest girl we could find. And what do you mean big? This girl's tiny. That aside, what was Kanda planning to do to her? Well, uh, he needed the girl for his hobby. Huh? You call him sexual assault a hobby? The fuck is wrong with you? Okay, Sky. See you in the morning if I'm still going, and if not, I'll see you on Discord. Oh yeah, I'll yell at you for sure. Just like people yell at me when I don't get sleep. Please, just hear me out. The boss has got this weird fetish, see? He has this drag girls back to the office so he can massage them. It's nothing more than that, I promise. Is this some kind of joke? I mean, I can still yell at you when you're sick. That wouldn't stop me. <laughs> see you in the morning if you wake up before I end. Otherwise, I'll see you in your stream. Is this some kind of joke? No, I'm totally for real. The boss loves nothing more than massaging a nice big woman. The thicker, the better. You believe in this garbage? Time to get out of it all. I don't know. Aroused? I get kind of sick if I dwell on it too much. But I bet he loves hearing a moan while he does it. Our only job is finding girls big enough to handle his massive meaty hands. And that's why you're trying to kidnap her? Yeah, that's it. I swear. Nothing assaulty about it, I promise. You realize that's still assault, right? Anyway... What do you think? Should we believe him? Hard to say, but I doubt anyone would make up such an embarrassing story. Especially about their own boss. We're just following orders. Honest. Truth is, just thinking of the boss and his hobby makes me want to hurl to high heavens. But if he says we get a girl, we get a girl. Alright. We'll let you go this time. Whoa, you mean it? Under one condition. Tell us where he is. What are you going to do to him? That's none of your business. Ugh. Now come on. We're in a hurry here. Alright, alright. He's in the hotel district. A little place called the Red Brick. Right. So when getting this right, he asked you to haul a girl over to this love hotel so he could massage her. That's about the thick of it. it. Sounded like the boss was real happy about something too. Guess things are going good. That's why he's going all out today for a hotel room instead of just bringing him to the office like normal. What room is he in? It's uh four oh zero three. Got it. Room 403 at the Red Brick Hotel. And you're sure that's right? Yep. Then go. We're done with you. <laughs> they, were they all just screaming right away? Hey, you okay? I think so. Thanks. If you hadn't come when you did, I would have been in for a pretty rough massage. So you know, my shoulders have been kind of sore lately. 
Maybe I should have gone with them. <laughs> uh. Anyway, thanks. Really appreciate you stepping in when you did. No, nah, it was nothing. Any guy would have done the same. He's definitely not from this city. I'm not so sure about that. By the way, um, could I have your contact info? I was thinking maybe I could pay you back later if that's alright. Oh, uh, you don't gotta do that, ma'am. Be glad to give you my name, though. We need to get moving here. Hey, wait a second. Sorry, guess I gotta run. Keep yourself safe, you hear? Is at the Red Brick Hotel, room 403. We've got, we gotta get in there before he leaves. All right, next stop is the Red Brick. I'm hoping he'll be willing to talk, but we need to be ready for anything in there. Sounds like he doesn't like me very much. Okay. right there. I wonder if I can detour enough. Notice I'm I don't have any of the side missions listed now, so since I have him with me, I think I'm like officially on uh main mission now. This is our turf. You gonna pay our protection fee or what? Hey, I'm telling you, hand over your wallet. Uh. How about. No. Jen's been pretty busy. I think the last time she was live... <laughs> hey, Lunar. Let me double check. Yeah, it was last month sometime that she went live. Uh, Puff doesn't have her console, so she can't stream anymore right now. <laughs> Who's live? I can lurk in. <laughs> well, thanks for coming by and lurking, Nuna. Hope you're doing well. Speaking of water. <laughs> yeah, it's been that way, I think, for a couple months for Puff. Or more.
I mean, so I, I'm always hungry, so I'm always down for snacks. He does say. <laughs> Jesus, here I come. <laughs> so, I don't know if I've even had Cheez-Its. I think I have, and I didn't care for them that much. But it's been a long time if I did, so. I like cheese, but Cheez-Its I don't think I liked. I get my money. Sorry, buddies. Down that sword. That's fair. There are stuff like that that I will eat, but I'll have like one a day or something and it'll take forever to get through it. <laughs> An unappetizing 1,000 yen. <laughs> I, I appreciate your unappetizing okay. money, guys. <laughs> I literally have to eat before I like lay down but like I've always been that way specifically like I can't sleep if I don't eat right before Get inside. Right. By the way, what does this Kanda guy do anyway? A few hours ago, someone shot up the Kazama family office and murdered the captain of the Tojo clan. What? Before he breathed his last words, he had tell to tell me there's a traitor in the Tojo clan. Yeah, I... I'll literally even like not if I don't eat like before I sleep I will literally get like tossing and turning and I'll just be like why am I tossing and turning I'm like I'm hungry and I go eat and then I can sleep <laughs> or like you said I'll wake up a lot earlier than I would normally. I know there's a lot of people that can't eat before they go to sleep, but like for me specifically, I have to. More likely than not, Kanda is that traitor. Ooh. 
There's no time to talk, though. Come on. Right behind you. Hold your horses there. You know this isn't a normal hotel, right? It's couples only in here. Huh? What is she talking about? You two aren't the most reputable looking characters, you know. I can't have some thugs up and committing crimes in one of my rooms. I uh, guess people only come here for one thing. Excuse me, ma'am. You gotta be a couple to come in here, right? No couple in the room. Well, any duo in town are cuter than me. Oh, God. Hold on. We usually keep it under wraps, but I just can't keep my hands off of him. Oh, I had no idea. In that case, just a second. 401 is the only room open. It's a tight squeeze, but no worry there. Appreciate it. The other bit is just in the back. Enjoy. And this is on the fourth floor, too. Yep. Got a rundown place for the patriarch of a major family. Oh no, maybe he's just not too keen on spending his own money. Can you let go of my arm now, dude? Can you quit it with that already? <laughs> this place. It took you so long, sweetheart. Who the shit are you? Think you can spare us a minute? You don't seem too busy in here. Who's asking? The Tojo Clan 4th Chairman. Kiryu. What the? Good seeing you, 4th Chairman. What brings you around these parts? There's something you need to ask. And out he goes. Help! They're gonna skip me alive! <laughs> okay, Lunar. Sleep well. I'll see you later. I'll check downstairs after we smack these guys around. You head up, okay? I like how this dude's against the visible wall, so just kind of like smashing him on nothing. downstairs to me you go see if you went up all right stay safe that is in a room with the light on outside I say in front of the room to kick open the door and if it could happen if you open the wrong door so you're telling me open all doors literally what I heard from that Can I not open all doors? Oh, okay, so... Some of them... He's in a door with the light on. We just don't know which one. 
My bad. My bad, lady. Okay. Doesn't look like any of those other ones have a light on, so. And down there, have a light on. You got what? Two potentials up here, too. Oh, there he is. Damn it. Where do you run off to now? Hey, kick this door open anyway. <laughs> I wanted to see. Does like grief there? Can you jump again? My bad, guys. So he's not on this floor at all. Down more. Gotta keep getting at
It would just... Having... Issues? Hmm. The phone was buffering and stuff, so I wasn't sure. Doors haven't I opened? because X or Y, which one? Nope. Motherfucker. That's an interesting thing to do at a love hotel. There's none on this floor. That, so this is not gonna be it. <laughs> I'm curious about these doors though to see what's inside anyway. Oh, it is him. It's like headed for the back stairs. Big room now. <laughs> Why is the fourth chairman crashing my shindig? What do you think you're doing? I'd like to ask you the same thing. I went all floppy because of you, asshole. Now then, it's like a friendly chat's not on the table anymore. Fine, guess I have to beat the answers out of you. Try it. You're gonna regret ever crossing paths with me. I'm bringing the heat for chairman. She had pants on. Sweet. 
you get around here. We got That head person. Bitch. Bitch. I guess it's his turn for a massage. One way to end the fight. Tell me what you know. I don't got answers for you. Don't be ridiculous. You can't expect me to fall for that. <laughs> hey, Sam. 
But you know, what can I gain out of bumping the captain off? You want to be the next Tojo chairman, so you made a job opening. You got it wrong, just hear me out. The, the guy who off the captain was Hamazaki. Bingo, he's aiming to control all of the city. I had a motive for axing him. Explain. You got a whole army holed up in Yokohama, just waiting for the chance to strike. It's the truth. The Chinese guy we nabbed in our territory told us. Totally spilled the beans. Everything okay with you? Run me through. No, it it shattered you out. Koitsuga Kanda Deska. Koitsu. What happened to asking him stuff? Are you on mobile? Oh, yeah, sometimes on mobile it doesn't do the announcements. And your shout out is surrounded in an announcement. Yes! I need to track down the guy who attacked Patriarch Nakahara. I need revenge. So please, let me stay in Tokyo. I'm begging you. Alright. But I have one condition. If you come across the man in the sketch, don't go after him on your own. Can you promise me that? Yeah. Yes. Good. So now, how about we grab a drink? I can show you the sights. I prove this town's not as scary as you think. <laughs> he needs the break. Yeah, that's the problem. Mobile always gets things late. Sometimes it does the announcement. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I went through and did like half of my auto shoutouts with the announcements, and then I found out that it always it doesn't always do that. So I didn't add it to everyone and I never removed it from uh, the ones that did because I like the little fact that it does it as an announcement but if it doesn't show it on mobile at all it's kind of shitty there's always some drama going on on Twitter though you look hard enough, you f you find like six different dramas. At least. Okay, what to? Uh, I do want to go sightseeing and all, but you think we can grab some grub first? Fighting always puts a hole in my stomach, like none other. Sure. You have anything in mind? <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, I will. I always, I always spend like an hour or two after stream, catching up on Twitter and Discord. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. So you don't want something a little more? Local? You can get it whenever you want down in... <laughs> oh, I'll see it all. You know me. Always watching everything.
Oh, we seen it. I just uh get backlogged when I'm on stream. <laughs> It's one Korean joint I've been dying to go to. It's the one they always show on the tube. Where all the celebrities hang out and stuff. And stuff their faces. I heard people even saw the Korean megastar, Eugene. Chilling there a few years back. That does sound familiar. I'm not sure if it's the same place, but I have a restaurant of mine. Let's go. You're the best. Oh, what are you emailing me now? Let me cut to the chase. I got another shoe for you. This is rocking silver joint in the southeast part of the city, but the owner's totally bonkers. Apparently, his noodles suffer for it. Anyway, keep your eyeballs trained on that owner, and your chance will come in no time flat. Probably when he hops on his bike, if I had to guess. Yep. Whatever I don't see or find out, you, you'll know. Dude, you're just keep up. Stop calling for me. Get like five feet from this dude and he calls me. Hey there, welcome. You wouldn't mind giving me all your cash, would you? I'm telling you to take out your wallet. Hurry up, chump. Yeah, sure. Stand up so I can finish you off. So what you get for trying to bug me? <laughs> Bastard. How'd you win against so many of us? This is all we got on us. Please, just let us go. I got a CD 3000. I love that they actually have, like, titles on them. <laughs> so this is the place. I wonder if there are any stars in there. Get enough in one room and you got a whole damn constellation. Guess we won't know until we go in. Come on. Yeah. I don't see any celebrities. Hell, there aren't even any other people in here. Hey, you can't expect it to be packed all the time. Come on, let's order. Eh, it's my treat. Let's get whatever you want. <laughs> well, really? 
Thanks a ton. Alright, let's go with two beers. <laughs> some coffee, some sirloin, an order of salted tongue, a plate of tripe. Oh, and some Eric <laughs> pork while you're at it. Uh, Ikea? Oh yeah, and make all that a double portion for me. I... <laughs> then I'll have a kimchi combo, soup on top of that, and some nice chilled noodles for dessert. You want some soup too? I don't think my stomach can fit all that. By the way, I was strolling around town for a while before we met up. Sure, a lot of interesting folks here. Weirdos, businessmen, schoolgirls. Yeah, you could just spend an entire year people watching and never run out of new subjects. Makes you wonder how li how their lives all led up to this point. Converging in this city. Totally. Wonder if I can find what I'm after here. What are you talking about? Come on. We talked about this right after you beat the human stuff anatomy. Looking for a guy to finish my viper tattoo, remember? Right, sorry. Your other tattoo artist died before you could finish it, didn't he? Mm-hmm. I don't want to trust my viper to anyone who doesn't get the, what the spirit of the, the city is all about. I'm kind of starting to think someone here might have what it takes. Guy who's lived in the city, seen all sort of people come and go. Even not from there, I bet he could get what I'm going for. What do you think? Well, I might just know someone who can help. For real? Can we go see him? If we got time, I mean. Sure, why not? Let's do some sightseeing first. All we've done so far is sit in this restaurant. Totally. Let's get a move on. Man, that was like a party in my mouth. I guess you could put it that way. Your total comes out to 65,000 yen, sir. God damn, man. You, you ate like a pig. Thanks a lot. Of course. Well, that was Philly. Now what? We can continue exploring. You have anywhere else you want to go? You bet I do. I've heard some amazing things about the shop. They say the theme song will stick in your head for days. We wouldn't have them down in the city, though. Mm, that should be easy Why enough. They're open 24 hours a day, right? Yep. It's a city that never sleeps, after all. Wait. And do the other clothes, like regular old store shops? That's right. This one has special hours because of where it is. Huh? Cool shit. Anyway, let's get moving. Yeah. Just keep up, dude. So remember back there, you know, when you ran into me? Yeah, you smashed my phone, asswipe. You know what I want? Pay up. Okay. I get to pay up. How dare you, man? You dropped my bike.
That about my phone being smashed. Sorry. Let's make up for it, right? You got a bitter 5,000 yen. <laughs> God damn, man. So many people want to fight. I mean, I'll take your money, but... You got beat up with a beer case. Okay, what are you giving me? Fragile blackjack. Send it to the item box. Since it's a weapon and all. That I saw a, a shiny. I guess I didn't. Whoa, it's even more incredible than I was expecting. Sure, are a lot of teenagers in there. Yeah, it's pretty popular with the younger crowd. Anyway, I'll take a wait out here. Don't buy any more than you're willing to carry, okay? Of course not. Be back in a bit? Sorry to keep you waiting out here. The <laughs> fuck? You came out with two bags. Looks like you bought the entire store. <laughs> Guess I gotta like, kinda carry it away. But it's all so cheap. Can't help it. Oh, and I nabbed some souvenirs for the kids back at the orphanage. You did? I really appreciate that. Nah, it was nothing. Anyway, I think there's somewhere I can dump all this stuff till we head home for the night. Maybe one of, one of the coin lockers? Oh, yeah. There's some lockers just down the street. Sweet, lead the way. But first, I want to go in here and see what this sells. Aw, I can't. Fine. I'm gonna see what this one sold, but okay, here we go. We just shit away. Here we are. Ooh, there's a key up there. Great, just give me a second. All settled. Looks like we're done with the shopping leg of the trip. Now. Yeah. We'll continue exploring together. Guess I could hang out with them some more. You have anywhere else you want to go? Oh yeah, I do. Get me on the roof of that monstrosity over there. Huh? Millennium Tower? It's gotta be like the tallest building in the world, right? I want to see how Tokyo looks from up there. I'm not sure we can do that. Cops are all over the place. Guess they would be, huh? No surprise after what happened. Sorry about all this. I got so caught up in my own hype that I never stopped and thought about what you were going through. It's okay. Hey, why don't we go someplace quieter? Hmm? Why? Well, I mean, I never met this person personally. But he was important to you, right? Yeah. Then it settled. Anyone who's important in your eyes is important in my eyes, too. Let's 
<laughs> I just saw the corner of my eye the little jamming emotes. I have a different one. <laughs> Come on, I got some beer over at the meat. So why don't we sit down and crack them open? Make tribute to him. How about it? Sure. Sounds nice. Well, the park three is a pretty quiet place. But first, give me that key. No, I almost would rather hear Ashley screaming Leon than him constantly screaming. This is so often. I like the dude though, but yeah, no. <laughs> What's up? What kind of guy was he? He... You know what my adopted father, Kazama-san, stood for? Kept the Kazama family legacy alive when he took over as the, their second patriarch. Honestly, he was... Great at hiding and great at leading from the shadows. He didn't really like being the center of attention, but I can't tell you how many times he saved my life. It's also thanks to him that Diego was able to take control of the Tojo, despite being so young. He was a priceless asset to the clan. Wow. I always figured he was amazing, but never knew just how much. Amazing? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I was especially in awe of... Much he loved cold noodles. <laughs> How level headed he was. Especially in awe of how level headed he was. I think that's why Kazama san trusted him so much. He really lived up to that trust, too. He always kept tensions between the family from boiling over. Though, of course, that made some of the patriarchs think he was soft, too soft to lead. That's a reputation you want to avoid in this line of work. Even so, you can't just fight people for no reason. You have to choose your battles. He knew how to do that better than anyone. Whoa. You must have really respected him. You should probably get going. Mm hmm. Anywhere else you had in mind? I don't know. All this talking kind of made me sad. Hey, why don't we go to one of those bikini bars I've heard about? What do you say? Seriously? Hell yeah. Can't expect me to leave Tokyo without first getting a little taste of the ladies. But, uh, I can go by myself if you really want. That might be for the best. Sorry. I'm not really feeling up to it. Figured. My bad. Just trying to cheer you up. Don't worry. I'm okay. Go have some fun. But, just go. Mikia? Thanks. What? That? It was nothing. Just wish I could have been more help, you know? Anyway, guess I'll get going. Think you can manage on your own? Oh, totally. 
I've got a pretty good feel for the layout by now. If you say so. By the way, there's a bar called New S Serena that we're going to be using as our base of operations. Head there when you're done wondering. Feel free to give me a call if you have trouble finding it. Will do. Catch you later. By the way, here's a little thank you for showing me around. Zero jewel. Can apparently make a single or double zero come up in roulette. <laughs> Interesting uh, background for reading. Hello? Can you? It's me. How thing goes with old Baldy. I found him. He's ho horrible, all right. But he's pretty small time. I don't think he has the wit to outsmart him. Damn it. Here I thought we had a lead. Guess we weren't as close as we thought. Anyway, I'll fill you in when I get back. You ever at Serena? <laughs> yeah, as soon as I looked at who it was, I was like, oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I think most of the time that I've watched Tofu is when uh, you've either rated or like you showed it or uh, told me to go into the stream at the time. I haven't really seen a lot of his streams. Mama said we can use it whenever we want. Just meet me over there, okay? Sure. See you soon. Try not to get too distracted on your way here. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. I I, I know. <laughs> Hey hamster, how you doing? Let's see. Could just continue. I think I want to just continue the main story for right now. What do you think you're looking at, friend? Actually, you know what? I'm in a good mood today. I'll let you off easy. If you hand over your wallet.
<laughs> I love throwing shit at people. But yeah, how you doing, hamster? I don't want to fucking hear it. Get the hell out of here. What was that? Sound like it came from the alley. Murderous? Man, okay. <laughs> you bastard, if you ever poke your nose where it doesn't belong again, it'll be the last thing you ever do. Enough of this. Doing this to me isn't going to change anything. Ah. How's your work night going then? I know you said you're good, but is the work going well? Siri bots say get nuked to fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't read it either before it got banned. Siri bot caught it. It was a by viewer follower thing. Like, I saw it popped into chat and it was already getting next through. <laughs> Isn't that why any of us would be up at this time, generally? I know hamster works late, but most of us that would be up at this time is because we can't sleep. <laughs> I I always say I love the meme that's like I'm I'm not a night owl, I'm not a uh, early bird, I'm a permanently exhausted pigeon or whatever it is. Because I I prefer night, but like I I have no like schedule whatsoever, so This is your last one. Don't ever show your face around here again. Okay, so what the hell was going on behind Serena? <laughs> hey, you alright? Yeah? Thanks for stopping. You're hurt. Do you need help? Damn, Amster. How are you awake at night if you go to sleep at 7 on your days off? Don't people usually try to keep the same schedule? I guess that's fair enough. There's been many weeks that, like, I'll just sleep, like, two hours and just be up, like, 24 hours, sleep two, be up another 24. And then there's also days that I literally just crash and sleep for, like, 12 plus hours. <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing. Wait, are you? Kiryu? You know me? I used to be the member, a member of the Jima family. Hmm. Weak. 
Sorry, but I don't remember you. Back then, I was just a flunky, so it's not surprising you don't remember me. Is that right? Sorry, I don't remember. No, it's fine. It was over ten years ago. Hey, you don't look so good. I can't just leave you here. I'll make sure you get home safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Where the hell are we? This is your home? The fuck? What is this place? It used to be a restaurant I ran for the Yakuza. Hasn't been a restaurant for a long time now though. Now it serves as the headquarters for the Honest Living Association. The HLA. I'm the representative. Honest Living Association. What's that all about? The HLA is an organization that helps former Yakuza members get out of the business and start making an honest living. We do things like help them find work, give them low interest loans if they need them, things like that. I see. At first, we used my house for the HLA headquarters, but a lot of our members needed a place to stay, too. So we converted my restaurant into our dormitory and headquarters. Those are dorm rooms? Those look like jail cells. <laughs> the castle dungeon look comes from the theming of the original restaurant. HL members say it kind of looks like a prison, so it helps keep them on the straight and narrow. Okay, so... In the, <laughs> I'm not the only one thinking that looks like a prison. Uh, I guess it's been a contributing factor in rehabilitating our members back into normal society. Interesting. Never knew a place like this existed. Yes, sir. We've tried to keep it under wraps, so I'd guess most Tojo members have never heard of it. Who founded the HLA? Oh. What? It's hard for people who leave the Yakuza to make their way out and try to earn an honest living in the outside world. He knew this and saw how much these guys were suffering. That's why he set up the HLA. He was a well-respected man who always took good care of his men, so even former Yakuza members came to him with their problems. Hey Jay, how you doing? They'd all tell him that leaving the business was fine and all, but that trying to make it in normal society was next to impossible. Yeah, knowing what kind of guy he was, I'm sure he lent them a sympathetic ear. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. How, how have you been? I haven't, I haven't seen you as much lately. Haven't got to creep on you as much. <laughs> Tim, they were still members of his family, even though they had already left the Yakuza. Oh, you're on a bit of a break. Okay. I was wondering if I was just, like, missing you. Because for a while there, we were in, like, every stream together. <laughs> we founded the HLA as an organization that could provide these people with support they needed. Is that right? 
recently, as the Toji clan was becoming more turbulent, he turned over the management of HLA to me. He asked me to watch over our members until they could support themselves through honest work. Of course. And it, it's it's harder to stalk you when you uh, are taking a break, so that makes sense. <laughs> it's so funny sometimes how so many communities can cross over. I forget whose stream I was in. But it was completely unrelated to the people I was normally in. It was somebody that they raided. And here comes somebody that raids. And some of the raiders, somebody that I know from Savannah's streams. And... And I saw Clarabelle in the Raiders as well. I'm like, I, those two people I know, but not, not from the same communities. <laughs> Yeah, I was so surprised that I saw her in the 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 raid. <laughs> I was like, it really is a small world. Because I also had no idea the person that raided in. I just knew the raiders. Uh, at this time... There's usually not many wildfire members on. I don't watch Dragon Squad as much. I actually need to go through my follow section again because there's quite a few people that I followed that I ha I don't need to follow anymore because like they don't stream anymore or I literally don't know them at all anymore like there was somebody through somebody else and they are not around anymore or they literally made a new account <laughs> and i know like a couple months back i was actually uh Pretty close to the max followers, I think. So, like, there's going to get to a point where it's going to reject me from following people. So. I really need to, like, sit down and go through mine. <laughs> uh, you know that would never happen. You you literally my number one watch stream so. Yeah, I really need to clean mine up. I've actually never cleaned mine up. There's been a couple times that I've unfollowed a couple people, but. But I actually never cleaned up my actual list and, like, went through it all. Let's 
is he? Now that he's no longer with us, it's my duty to fulfill his dying wish. Yeah, I can understand that. Now the HLA is facing a serious problem. The guy before, you mean? Yeah, he's a former member who got help from us once. Somebody's given him orders to hurt the members of the HLA and the Tojo clan. Why would someone do that? This is not just him. More and more former Yakuza are carrying out these kinds of attacks. Yeah, I, I've... <laughs> uh, you know I'm going to follow you too, Jay, so... I mean, stalk you. But yeah, I've done that too. I've followed people that are like... Somebody that I uh, watch a lot are like, this person's great when they come into their chat. And I'm like, okay, I'll follow you and check you out sometimes. And then, like, I never follow. Like, I never actually follow through, I mean. And I actually look, because it's like, I'm always doing something. I mean, looking at my uh, Twitch recap... I've literally modded for 3,000 hours this year. <laughs> so, like, even when I'm not doing something for stream, I'm modding or something, so. It's so seldom I, am like, join new streams. I don't know. There's uh like 33 weirdos around. Yeah, I would say that, well, some of them don't stream as much anymore or at all. Like, I don't know if you, I don't know if you've actually knew him, Jay, but uh, Saintbot, he was Dragon Squad, he was Wildfire, I think he's both still. Yeah. I'm his mod, but he hasn't streamed in months, so. There's a few that are like that, or there's a few that, like, they made me mod just because I helped them with, like, Nightbot. Uh. I would say there's about... seven people that I mod with like consistently so pretty much when I'm not on s stream I'm modding for somebody <laughs> Yeah, I would have to go through, but yeah, I would say like seven consistently that like, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's been many days, Sam, that I've been modding for like three different people at the same time. Oh, I was wondering who you were talking about for VK. Okay, you mean Violent Kitten. I, I was like, VK? Who's VK? 
I love Violent Kitten. <laughs> yeah, poor Brain Dead. <laughs> But yeah, anybody that I've uh, went in and did like an actual application for for a mod, I am always there if I can be. Obviously, everybody knows that I have insomnia and I stream myself and whatnot, but if I'm awake, I'm there. It's also it's very interesting getting yourself tuned to listening to like three different streams and listening to like the sound alerts that go off so like you can tab through very quickly um there's so many people that are like how are you that fast? And I'm like, I, I, I've been modding for a long time. That's why. <laughs> Cause there was somebody that was slower than me to shout out somebody. And, uh, I was like, yeah, I, I'm also modding two other streams at the moment. So, <laughs> And also, for a while there, I was having, like, five streams up at the time. So even when I wasn't modding, uh, I would have other people, like, lurked and be listening and chatting in their chat and whatnot. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that's the Chloe. Yeah, Dragon Squad, XO, and Wildfire, I think all three of the leaders know each other real well. So we kind of interlock the communities. <laughs> <laughs> I read that first and I was thinking, oh, you're going to sleep now? And then I was like, oh, no, that's not what you're getting at. <laughs> Why these so-called Reapers used to work for the Yakuza as Hitman? Hitman, so we're talking professional killers here, right? All we've been able to gather so far is that somebody is organizing former Yakuza hitmen to get some kind of revenge. Oh, so these must be the hitmen missions that I kept seeing in the sub-stories. You think they want to wipe out the HLA? Well, not necessarily, seeing as they've also been harassing active members of the Tojo clan. The HLA is going to have to do something about this. We can't just lay down and take it. Yeah, that's honestly why I, like with Briar, I'm in her stream a lot. So like it made sense. Plus I'm in a lot of Wildfire member streams. Um but I don't like, as much as I like her, I don't catch Brandy much. So when people ask me, did you apply for Dragon Squad as well? I was like, no. Because I don't really see many Dragon Squad members. The ones, unless the ones that cross between the two. So like, I didn't feel right going on another team. Plus like, one team is a lot of work in itself, so...
Yeah, sa sadly for a lot of times with Briar, uh, uh, I'm modding usually when she goes up, or I'm getting ready for my own stream. So I still pop in, and I'm lurking, but I don't actually actively talk as much and stuff in her stream anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, depending on the team, the support really dictates whatever you want to put into it, but, like, like, you're not obligated to, but... It, it makes sense to, obviously, and, like, yeah, there's... It's it's like a full time job. Most of the people that I have swords for are wildfire. Besides like the few that I've knew like prior to the wildfire. Or some like striker joined wildfire after. Well, I was their mod before that, but Yeah, I, I would, I, I feel the same way. I try to get in as many of my teammates' streams as I can, but I still prioritize who I have, like, a sword for or whatnot. Yeah, I don't think I would... There's there's very few teams that I would apply to. Um, while being wildfire as well. And most of them are just like the idea behind it. But I wouldn't just go joining a random team... <laughs> just you hey I mean that's a quick team that's what you mean you're on your your own team you're my number one favorite streamer you know I'm always on your team <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like joining so many teams is like... You, you, yeah, I would be spread way too thin if I joined another team. <laughs> You'll give me mod duties? Yeah. You know... Almost like... You're probably like... Like twenty five percent of my mod uh, hours, Sam. <laughs> yeah, I I love Wildfire because I knew a lot of the members before it even existed. Um, I knew Brandy because Brandy was on Wildfire. Uh, so I, and I don't know a lot of Dragon Squad members that aren't crossed over. Like, I know Churro. Uh, Uh, 
Um, yeah, I... <laughs> ironically, Sam, I had JJ up. I don't know if it was when you raided him. Or... Or if I just had him up supporting him one day. And I come back and I was in Brandy's stream. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> but, uh... I also know Brandy a lot through... Even though, like, I'm not a member. Uh, I know Brandy a lot through Team RD. Yeah, I didn't even know that, uh, at first that Brandy left Wildfire until, uh, I saw that she wasn't in the Discord anymore, I don't think. Unfortunately, no. Seeing as our members are former Yakuza who are trying to avoid that sort of thing. Right. In any case, you just need someone to find these hitmen, catch them, and round them all up, right? What are you implying? If I went after those guys, you could focus on helping your HLA members turn their lives around. It's pretty accurate, right? Well, yes. But I couldn't ask something like that of any, or of you. I myself left the Yakuza to live an honest life. I know how rough it can be. I know how important it is for you to honor his dying wish. I'll do anything I can to help. Here you. Could you really do this for us? I've got a lot of things going on right now, but I'll definitely have to help out whenever I get a chance. And I cannot speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. However, can I thank you for doing this? Save it for when this is all over. Okay, Sam. Get your sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. And yeah, I, I still think that was funny that you literally had to go back to Briar Stream and be like, did did I get in? Did I get did I re do you, do do you have something to tell me? You like literally weren't believing me and I'm like I literally listened to the applications. <laughs> that was so funny to me. I think I'm like one of the there's I think there's only ever like seems to be like a handful of people that when they apply they're there for the announcements cuz like when I applied I was there like I wanted to know immediately I didn't want to find out later I wanted to be there and know <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I don't feel like I'm a great streamer and I got accepted into uh wildfire. So like that was a shock to me too. Like I get the, I get the idea behind it. So like, 
But, like, it was just funny to me that you were, like, you're lying to me. I'm, like, because it's, I don't even know, like, if I knew you applied until I heard your name. So, like, I'm not even sure that I could have known that you applied without hearing your name in the applications. <laughs> Let me see. So what exactly do you need me to do? Let me think. HLA is using its, all its resources right now to collect information on these Reapers. Whenever it's convenient for you, please stop by and I'll give you all the info we've gathered on one of the hitmen. And then if you manage to find and capture that hitman, give me a call and we'll take it from there. All right. These men will be a formidable opponents. You're better off going after them only one at a time. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. For every hitman you successfully capture, the HLA will offer you a reward. Though I'm afraid it won't be much. I'm not doing this for money. But it wouldn't be right if we didn't at least cover your expenses. Please, we insist. Alright, I suppose I will need to spend time and money getting ready to take them down. I'll accept your reward. Could I ask you one more thing? What is it? These reapers aren't just causing trouble for us here in Tokyo. They've been popping up all over the country, carrying out attacks on other Tojo-affiliated families. At this stage, I'm afraid we don't have the resources to do much outside of the city. But I seem to recall you saying you live in Okinawa. That's right. If we get any information on the hitman in there, do you think you could head south and handle them too? Sure, no problem. I don't know when I'll be back there next, but definitely keep me in the loop. See, I met... Uh, do, you, do you know Tell Noel? Okay, well, tell Noel, uh, he's, he's a really good friend of Julie, Julie versus the world, uh, and, um, he's been around Nerian and, uh, Saint, in Saint streams and stuff as well, um, but anyway, way back I met Julie, and then through Julie, I met Tal Noel. And uh, one day I was in his stream, and he raided Briar. This was back in November, I believe. I'd have to double check, but I think it was in, like early November of last year. And uh, that same day... When Briar was done, she raided into Savannah. And I, since November, have been following both of them. And, uh, and from there I met Tay. Um, and, like, I met, of course... Saint through Tay, I met Parrish, I met, so many people I met, I met through Briar and Savannah, so, I wasn't streaming back then, I didn't start streaming until January, so when, uh, so when Wildfire was formed, I wasn't really streaming So I didn't feel like right to apply, like, but I knew them before Wildfire existed. Briar wasn't a partner when I met her. 
Um, so when I looked at Wildfire and like I see Tay, I see Savannah, I see Briar. There were so many people that like I genuinely in just enjoyed being around. I was like, if I'm going to join on any team, I want to join Wildfire. So I applied. I personally didn't think I have any chance. Um, but I was like, hey, well, what what's the worst that could happen? She says no. So I literally uh, tried it out, and at this point, I know Jupe. I know uh, Sky, Poem by Woman, um, and other people. And there's like at least, there's at least like four different Wildfire members were like, we know you're going to make it in. Like, we know you will. I didn't believe I was going to make it in, but I was like, whatever. I, I, I heard my name. And I joined Wildfire in April. So, on the end of April, I did my first stream and uh, uh, for Wildfire. And it was also my birthday stream. So, like, pretty much happy birthday to me, I got into Wildfire. <laughs> Yeah, my January will be one year I've been affiliate. So I've not been streaming that long. And like I started, like I said, it was January and I joined Wildfire in April. So like it was only a few months after streaming, so like I didn't have the shoutouts. I didn't have the bot at that point. I don't think even. I think I was still using just Nightbot. And I don't have like a cam like other people. Because I, I just stream directly off my console too. So like I'm very limited to like a lot of the other like bells and whistles I can put on. Like, I don't know. I just didn't feel like I was going to get in, but. But I'm so glad that was that was a really good day. And wildfire has done so much for me just in general, not not even talking about like stream wise, which it has. But, but just the, knowing the people that I know, like just the friends that I've met in it. Uh, I don't think that's, that's weird at all. That's a serious celebration too, so like, no, that that's a good thing. That's well worthwhile. Yeah, well, let's put it this way, Jay. I'm generally somebody that does not celebrate my birthday. 
And I spent 19 hours streaming that day. With, like, my first official wildfire stream, but also my birthday stream. <laughs> so, pretty much my first serious, like, celebration was with everybody in wildfire. So I definitely feel that. <laughs> yeah, so you so you get it completely because yeah, I'm the same way. I think generally like my birthday is like I don't tell people and I'm just like playing a game with them and eating pizza and that's it. <laughs> like most uh, that I can think of most of my birthdays the closest thing to celebrations I get is I get like a delivery pizza and then uh, and then just play like something with somebody on a game And not actually have anything to say that it's my birthday. Just just playing a game. So that I actually, like, went out of my way and, like, uh, was like, hey, uh, on this date, my time midnight, I'm going live and streaming until I drop. <laughs> And at about the 19 hour mark, um, my mic had died. So the only way that I could talk to chat was in my chat itself. And I was like, at this point, I'm so tired. If I'm not talking, I'm going to fall asleep. I was just like, okay, 19 hours is good. No, it's it's not tech issues. It's because I, I stream so long. My my headset that I use for stream can only, like, hold a battery for, like, 15 hours. And so I went, like, 19 hours. Because, yeah, this headset is really good and everything, but it does have a battery, so. And I can't use it, like, and charge it at the same time, so, like. See, see, I bought, like, three headsets for the Xbox. And the other like two without the extra like base boost on the everything and whatever which is the charging the battery and stuff like it won't uh it won't like pick up as well. The other mic that I have is literally useless for streaming. Um, um, and the beauty of this one is, uh, I found out, well, I knew it from the get go, but I didn't have it to be a factor until recently, uh, is that I can, it has an Xbox or PlayStation charge to it. So, so I can literally use the same headset to stream off my PlayStation or my Xbox though. Yeah, see, my mic has to be something that connects to my console.
Um, once I have a PC, I will be looking into a mic that's like plugged in. But uh, I stream directly on consoles, so it has to be something that connects to my controller. And you are kind of limited to what kind of headsets you can get. Um, I think the majority of, like, the brand that I get, uh, all run out of battery now, so... And, like, the ones that don't, don't have enough, like clearness to them yeah you, you're very limited what you can do like are are you watching me from mobile or a pc Yeah, so you see the wildfire thing. Um, if you're on mobile, you don't even see that because that's an, a Twitch extension. So, like, it only shows up on desktop. Like, I'm so limited on stuff that I can do. Yeah, it's literally a Twitch extension, and Twitch extensions don't work on mobile. So if you ever look at my clips or like my VODs, they actually don't have that wildfire symbol on them. Um, I want to eventually, obviously, once I get a computer to get a capture card and I'll still play on console. But then I can still use like overlays and all that that will actually show up in my uh stuff because yeah like when i make anything on like even if it's a clip from twitch i have to manually edit the video and like add that wildfire symbol on it But yeah, there's so much. You don't get much options. Like, uh, from my uh, Xbox, you get a few extra options and stuff. But, um, like, on Xbox, you get to pick the bitrate, the resolution, and then you get volume from 0 to 100. And that it changes in increments of 10 for game, party chat, or microphone. And that's literally all you can edit. And on PlayStation, you can't even pick the bitrate as far as I can tell. You just pick the resolution and then like it just goes from there. Um, there's just all the little, like, intricate things that you can't really do, like, um, hey, MD, how you doing today? Um, but yeah, like, you've been in my stream probably enough that you've heard some of my alerts, Jay, like a follow alert or whatnot. Um, the only reason you hear it is because it's playing on a laptop next to me. And it's coming through my mic. If my mic is muted, you won't hear any of my alerts. Because I can't put my alerts through my stream.
Hey, how you doing? But but yeah, Jay, that's that's exactly. There's so much stuff. Like there are ways to do it. Like I think you can pay like thirty dollars a month or something like. Like I don't know. I don't, don't quote me on the membership. Uh, cause I think there's like two or three, but you can get like certain things that will allow you to do overlays when you're console, but you have to pay it. Um, like the extension that I'm using, I don't have to pay it. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's just so much. But, like, generally, you're very limited on console streaming. Like, playing on console, I'm happy about. But I definitely need to get a PC and capture card eventually. Just so I don't have to worry about that. And, like, then I later on get, like, a mic that doesn't die out. So I don't have to worry about a mic. Yeah, I was gonna say you you wanted you shouldn't be up. But it makes sense if you can't sleep. <laughs> okay, Jay. Nice talking to you. I'll see you later, friend. Okay, let's see, where were we? Jump to you whenever we find something. In any case, we can't shut these Reapers down for good until we find out who's behind all this. I mean, that's generally what I do. If I toss and turn too much, I just roll over and start playing a game. <laughs> Alright, literally. That's the same mindset. I'm like, fuck it. Time to play a game. Let's see. In any case, we can't shut these reapers down for good until we find out who's behind all this. It's going to be difficult, but with you on our side, I know we can do this. Good luck. Good work, Kiryu. What would you like to do now? Do you have requests? It's all the information we've gathered. Oh shit, you do. Go in order. Uses heavy blunt objects sighted at the east end. We'll do everything in our power to assist you. Good luck. always there you might be able to get some good information out of him that'll help you check down your targets you have anything over here one of these like jail cells literally also I think it's funny that like no one's here at the moment Like, these are supposed to be like the bedrooms. You telling me no one is in right now? K 
Okay, is that a hitman? Yeah. It's gotta be. Get up and around. Actually, can do this. Cuts in over here. The out getting high. What are you playing exactly? Looks like about to the hitman. What are you doing? It's your own damn fault for joining the Yakuza. Now it's time for you to pay the price. What the hell are you talking about? Hold it right there. That's enough. Who the hell are you? You're about to the hitman, aren't you? What if I am? Hey, I'll take care of this. Get out of here. Thank you. I'll never forget this. You in the biz too? Not anymore. Why? Would you kill me if I were? Yeah. That's right. The Yakuza have to be destroyed. That's extreme. What do you have against the Yakuza? Anyway. If you side with them, you're just as guilty as they are. That sounds so, like such a random ass game. I'll have to look into it. Looks like talking isn't gonna get us anywhere. Pay for your sins, Yakuza scum. I don't have Game Pass, but I'll still look into it. So, like, I don't know when I would actually play it, play it, but it definitely sounds something that I would enjoy. Especially Easter Egg Mania, because I love Easter eggs in games.
Finally come into your senses? Never. I'll never forgive them. I'll never forgive them for what they did. What exactly is your problem? You were one of them once, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. When I was a kid, I joined the Yakuza. So what happened? I was a hitman for them. They ordered me to off key members of a rival family. They promised me a big reward and a high position in the family when my prison time was over. I spent 15 years dreaming of life after the slammer. I know how that feels. When I finally got back to the city, the only thing waiting for me was an assassin to shut me up for good. During those 15 years, they called a truce with that rival family, and I just reminded them of mis past mistakes. I managed to escape with my life, but I lost everything. Ever since then, whenever I see someone in the Yakuza, I get pissed. Makes sense. The story of yours isn't exactly uncommon. What? Look, I understand where you're coming from. But that's no reason to go around attacking people who had nothing to do with what happened to you. The Honest Living Association sent me to come to find you. The HLA? You can talk this whole thing over there and figure out what to do next. Great work, Kiryu. I'll take it from here. It's waiting for you at the headquarters. I'll accompany you there. No, I wanted to pick up that shiny. Rude. Great work. I'm glad you're okay. Looks like he's calming down. Right now he's talking to some HLA members in the back room. Just leave him to us. Here you go. Well done. Here's your reward. We appreciate your hard work. Please come back again. We're really counting on you. I get both of them. No. Okay. I know you said do it one at a time, but I was still kind of hoping I could just quickly get them. I wasn't glaring at you. I'll still beat you though, pulp. Get destroyed. Agreeable three thousand. that shiny <laughs> <coughs> mm. 
let's see here. Any side missions? We got two of them. Open. Let's go up. Let's go up and do the ones along the way. This is a bunch of. What do we want? Kill you, it's me. The guy who asked you to help collect the loan. Oh, hey, what's going on? We got a call from somebody claiming he saw him. Says he's out drinking somewhere in the Champion District. Could you visit bars there and look for him? Got it. I'll head over to the Champion District. Yeah, thanks. I'll give you 10% as a reward if you can collect the loan. Oh, God damn it. Fine. What's with you? Get you. It's me. Get you asked you to Yeah, I know what's going on. Sorry for the extra trouble, but do you think you could find out where he is now? Alright, sorry I didn't get to him in time. Nah, no, I'm the one who should be apologizing for all this trouble. Good luck. So I just have to look around the city. Damn, I wouldn't have even been able to get over there in time anyway. Like, jeez. What's going on over here? Ugh. Damn, how did I miss every single time? I used to box professionally. I should have been wiping the floor with you. <laughs> Arguably familiar man. <laughs> I don't care what kind of boxer you were. Maybe you got a nasty punch, but it ain't worth jack shit if you can't make it hit. You gotta think before you act. If you want to land a bruise on this fresh face, gotta be four to five steps ahead. Minimum. You're sprouting some bullshit, man. This is a street fight, not some goddamn chess game. Hey, I've got a record of 499 to 1. So somebody managed to do it. In fact, it happened right here in the city. Yeah, I bet you're just making him up in your head. Look, I could listen to you yap all day, but I'm running a business here. If you've got time to cry, you should be out training instead. Hey, Stinger. How you doing? Well, I'll be damned. So you're finally back in town. And you are? You gotta be shitting me. It's your boy, Mr. Try and Hit Me. Don't tell me you forgot. Yeah, I think I'd remember a name like that. Well, if it helps jog your memory, I've been challenging people on the street to hit me for prize money. It ain't your average desk job, but hey, it's a living. I offer my services for 3,000 yen a minute. Within that, you're free to try and hit me as much as you like. With a reward of 50 grand if you're successful. Not bad, I know. <laughs> 10 times richer only to get 70% poor. I mean, that sounds like life. Ever since you smacked me a good one, oh, some t two odd years back, I've been trading all over Japan, bound to never get hit again. I've gone up against boxers, Mai Tai experts, you name it. And now you're finally back. What kept you so long? A lot of things, actually. Well, shoot, it feels like I've been waiting forever for this day. How about challenging the new and improving me? All I have to do is hit him once and I'll earn 50,000 yen. That doesn't sound so hard. Let's see how hard it is to hit him. Alright, I'll take you on. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Cost you 3,000 yen up front. Is that okay? Fine by me. Here. Alright. 
Punch or kick me in a minute or less. And that 50,000 yen prize money is all yours. Weapons are off limits. Gotta keep it clean. Now then, if you can keep the pace, then try to bust my face. Yeah, well, never mind. That... I I don't even have words for that. That how Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I guess... I guess... I guess owned is a very good word for that. Literally, like... Under three seconds. Or four seconds, something like that. I had another like fifty six seconds to hit him. Uh, whoa, that was insane. Did you see those moves? Can't believe he actually got hit. Now there's a first. Oh, ugh. looks like I won. Crap in a hat, you're strong. Just like back in the day. Uh, maybe even more so. I guess I need to ramp up my training regimen, huh? Well, here's your prize money. 50 grand in cold hard cash. Thanks. Come challenge me again anytime. I gotta warn you. Next time you won't be so lucky. <laughs> I'm literally like the only person that ever hit him. And he's like, I trained for this and this and this and this. You won't hit me now. Hey, it's me. The guy. Yeah, I know. Got a tip. So I'm at the Park Boulevard. I'm headed out there now. Do you think you could go there and help me look too? Sure, I'll head over there. Yeah, thanks. I'll give you 10% as if you can collect me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that yet. Wait, wasn't it? Oh, it's gonna do this to me again. Whoops. So there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, he said only one, so I don't even remember, to be honest. Can you get out of my way? I'm kind of busy at the moment, dude. Dickheads with their little side attack.
Ah, okay. <laughs> now, can you fuck off so I can try to get over here in time? Unless this isn't it. This might not be it. Oh, I thought for sure it would have been over here. I want to know why my hitman isn't showing up. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely hunting something. There he is. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this first try. Crap, it found me. You're not catching me. Who are you? This is about that loan. I'm not paying it back. You borrow money, you pay it back. Damn it. If you want the money, you're just gonna have to try and take it from me. Oh, it's not going to be a chase. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's got the moves, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ready to pay now? Taking you back to. I'm sorry. 800,000 yen? You used 200 in that short amount of time? Thank you, Kiryu. I can't believe you caught him. <laughs> well then, here's the 10% I promised you. <laughs> Come with me to my office. We need to talk about how you'll be paying back the rest of the money you owe. Yes, I'm sorry, this is all I've got left. Hear you. You're the legend I always heard you were. You inspired me to get better at collecting money. Even from slippery bastards they can. Thank you. I learned a lot today. Okay, now my hitman is back there. So. You guys really got balls on him still. I'm trying to steal a wallet from this dude. No, that was my weapon. Jackass.
cool 5,000. Or something anyway. Yes, I must <laughs> no, thank you. I'd rather just not say it. Because I know full well I'm going to butcher everything. Even the stuff that I do say, I know I probably butcher. Oh, that, was, that was a full heal. Okay. Better. Okay, let's go. Ah, uh, are you scared? If you don't want to die, then pay up. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to f <laughs> fear butchering the names myself once the English dub happen in the games. Do you know which one had English dubs? Like the first one that did. Starts with six? Okay. Still quite a ways away then. We'll see though. Have mercy. I didn't do anything to you. Oh, I always do. Because I always make sure like subtitles are on in games and stuff and... Like, music is a slightly lower than vocal audio and stuff. So I always go in the options right away to see what all is there. Sorry, but your luck ran out when you crossed my path. Pay up now if you want me to let you go. That must be the hitman. Better put a stop to this before it gets out of hand. What's going on here? Huh? What do you want? <laughs> Looking for trouble, old man? Ha. Huh. And off the business man goes. He was like, I see my chance. I'm out. Peace. Hey, come back here. Ugh. Son of a bitch. Anyway, whatever. As soon as you crash my party, I hope you're ready, dickhead. Ready for what? I'm a professional killer. Ain't nobody in the underworld who hasn't heard about me. Uh, actually, I've never heard of you. <laughs> you must be a civilian then. What are you? A chef or something? Sure, dress like one. Does this look like a chef's uniform to you? How do you normally see dr chefs dressed like this? Is it just because it's white? <laughs> well, 
Whatever. But you got the part about me being a professional killer, right? You freaked out yet? Sorry, I don't follow. Just give me your money if you're that scared. That way, you at least make it out with your life intact. Are you listening to a word I'm saying? You're the Reaper, right? What are you trying to accomplish here? What? How come you know my name? Did I even tell you my name? No, you didn't. Then how'd you know about me? Why are you talking like that now? You alright? Huh? I'm a killer. Let's cough up some money. Give it up. You're coming with me. <laughs> yeah, the hitmen in this are called Reapers. So he is a Reaper. But he definitely looks like a pushover as well. We'll see. Hold it. Oh, God. No. Yeah, and if you run out of stamina, uh, you just pant. And you, you lose stamina anytime you bump into anything and everything else. So you, oh, I actually kind of like it, but, like, they are not that easy. Why are you after me? Just calm down and come with me. You a cop or something? I'm with the Honest Living Association. The HLA? You mean the Job Placement Center? More or less. Those guys? The hell do they want? Oh, the first couple chases... That's literally the first first chase that I did first try. Every other time I've had a chase of any kind, I failed like at least two times before I got it. And if you fail it two times, the game insults your ass and is like, do you want to temporarily turn the game to easy difficulty? Yes or no? We're going after a group of hitmen called the Reapers. You're one of them, right? If you know this much, I can't very well just let you take me in now, can I? Yeah, I guess that's how you'd see it. Damn. This is only one thing to do then. Die, old man. Oh, so now I fight him. Damn it. Hey. 
That was cheap. <laughs> Barely got up. Rude. Yeah, I want to know how he's blocking the katana with the stun gun. I thought the katana would hit him better. How is he blocking a katana with this thing again? Oh well. Guess I just have to do this the old fashioned way. Oh wow, he recovered fast. Guns are piss me off in this game. the heat exactly time for the dodge button <laughs> I didn't think you'd be much of a fight if you got some decent moves he does not have any moves. He just blocks and then hits you with a stun gun. Hell yeah. My teacher was a hitman. Everyone knows he's basically a god. Then why do you put on this act to threaten people for pocket change? I can't stomach killing people. Wait, what?
I was fine until I left my teacher and joined the family in the city. Whenever I tried to do my work, I got scared. I just couldn't go through with it. The family threw me out, and I wound up with nowhere to go. So that's why you're doing petty gigs like this now. Yeah, anyway, it's whatever. I guess I'll let the HLA take me in. I hear they can find me work and stuff. Wait here. Great work, Kiryu. I'll take it from here. Just waiting for you at headquarters. I'll accompany you there. Great work. I'm glad you're okay. Katara wants to rehabilitate back into society. For the time being, we can put him to work here as an assistant. But first, he's got a lot to learn about manners. Here you, well done. Uh, because this used to be a restaurant. And it was like set up, I'm guessing, like medieval stuff. You should see the beds. Get, once we get out of here, I'll show you the beds for the members of the HLA. Here's your reward. We appreciate your hard work. Please come back. We're counting on you. Let me pick up the other one. Oh, what? More are appearing now, okay. I'll accept this one. Okay, so here's the dormitory. This restaurant was styled in this, and this was the castle dungeon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This might be a uh, BDSM dungeon. Who knows? Oh, hey, he, he's here now. Yo, Kiryu, they put me to work for here for now. Okay, so what do I do now? Um, for now, why don't you gather all these documents together? Sure, no problem. Crumple. Ah, what are you doing? Huh? You wanted me to gather them together, right? The other hitman's not too far from here. First, let's... Let's go save. Actually, where is... Oh, that's... That's not a good place. It's a store. Uh, well, that's kind of specified. The HLA is people that are literally trying to, uh, go back into society and all that. And, um, I can't say his name. I've yet to, like, learn how to say it, but, uh, 
The patriarch of uh, Kazama family. The. It was his. He made this company. And it was, uh, like his dying wish to make sure this worked. Hey, Donuts. How you doing? teacher said she liked it she said it looked really good <laughs> wow that's great that's my guy you know what else that looks like the hitman seems pretty close to that kid sorry to interrupt uh. yeah that's me you have a minute I need to talk with this man here, so why don't you head on home for today? No, I want to hang out with you. We'll see each other again tomorrow. Come on now, off you go. What do you want to talk to me about? You're one of the Reaper hitmen, aren't you? The fact you know that nickname isn't a good sign, is it? The honest... Living Association sent me to come find you. The HLA, I see. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't afford to get caught. I won't go without a fight. There's no need to fight over this. We're just gathering information on the Reapers, and we want your help. Look, even I have my principles. Don't think I'd stoop that low. If you want me to go with you... You have to make me. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Fucking flash kick, what the fuck? Take your guile? Sí. 
<laughs> Damn, you're good. Ready to go now? Stop. Leave him alone. Huh? It said leave him alone. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm okay. See? Really? Really? You don't have to worry. Run along home now, okay? Who's that kid? We just ran in each, into each other the one day. Not sure who he is or where he's from. I have kids myself, you know. A boy and a girl. I bet they're just about his size. What do you mean, you bet? Aren't they your kids? In my line of work, I can't be with them. No matter how much I want to be. A friend's taking care of them now. You sound bitter about that. I used to be in the Yakuza, but my boss blamed me for a mistake he made. I got kicked out of the family. Back then, there wasn't anything like the HLA. I had a hard time trying to find a job, and my wife died from overworking herself. I'm sorry to hear that. I needed money to feed my kids. This was the only kind of work I could find. I want to make sure I can send money to them so I don't spend money on myself for clothes or weapons. Hence the name Old Rags. Part of the reason I joined the Reapers was because I was angry about getting blamed for something I didn't do. Mostly, it was because the Reapers took care of me financially. I'm betting your kids don't know you're in this line of work. There's no way I could tell them. But I need the money. If I have to get blood on my hands to feed my children, then so be it. That's what you say. But what if you get caught? What? If you keep this up and get arrested, what's going to happen to your kids? How would you be able to keep them from finding out? You're right, but... It's not too late. You can try to find an honest job again. HLA can definitely help you out now. Nothing's ever that easy. Things have changed since you were kicked out of your family. Don't you think it's worth a another try? I think you're right. I'll give it another shot. You've opened my eyes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, what Stinger said. We're trying to get these former Yakuza back into society. Just waiting for you at the headquarters. I'll accompany you there. <laughs> Definitely a Rupert too, yeah.
The eye open more than his eyes. Yeah, makes sense. Let's see. We'll provide his children with financial assistance. We'd like to help him find some decent work and get him back to living with his children as soon as possible. Here you. Well done. Here's your reward. We appreciate your hard work. Uh, I'm a little sleepy, but I'm not that sleepy. as a duo. Remember to be armed with guns. Armed with guns. Can we not have targets that are armed with guns? At least it's not as bad as uh, Judgment. Thank you, Kiryu. We'll do everything in our power to assist you. Good luck. <laughs> Are you sure? You sure you don't have a gun somewhere? Kiryu-san. Hey, it's me. Huh? It's me. You told me about Tokyo in downtown Kyo, remember? Oh, hey, it's you. You really did move to Tokyo, huh? I'm doing great. The rent's really expensive, just like you said. And train transfers are pretty complicated, but I'm having the time of my life in Tokyo. I'm glad I gave it a shot. Yeah? That's good to hear. Oh, right. Here, have this. Fresh off the griddle. Hold on. Are you sure you should be giving me this? Oh, it's fine. Just between you and me. I take all the leftovers home with me. <laughs> See you next time. Hello. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Not just six 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 zero. Almost six sixes. <laughs> Almost the perfect. <laughs>
Let's go ahead and upgrade these. Get a few more things. Okay. Good for that. Oh. God damn it, thug. Fuck off. Thank you. Damn, look at his face. Beat his ass. Hey, donuts. How was the last of us? I love The Last of Us. I've only played a bit of it, like personally, but I've seen the game. I guess because I've seen so much of it, it do, it's not that hard for me, personally. But yeah, I definitely, uh, wait, can I even get in here? I don't think I can get in there. <laughs> even if you've seen a lot though, I will say that even though I know a lot of stuff, even from like, uh, like speedrun strats and stuff, uh, actually playing them and, uh, and putting it into actual, like, action is definitely different than seeing it. Yeah, this guy told me that earlier. Uh, she said that she was in your stream too. <laughs> so I knew, I already knew what game you played, but, or was playing. That was your first playthrough. But yeah, The Last of Us, my first playthrough, I tested uh, my PlayStation. It was the first stream I did, but I didn't get very far, I would say. I have to go back to it and finish it. I love the game, though.
Why are you surprised I'm still streaming? I always used to stream a lot longer than this. <laughs> yeah, that's one of her favorite games, so that doesn't surprise me. The only reason I never played it is because I didn't have a PlayStation. But yeah, I have the... I have the same one that you have, Striker. I have the free one with PlayStation. Uh, I'll eventually get the... the remake. I, I'm pretty sure I got two when it was on sale, so I do have two as well. So whenever I finish the old one, I will, uh... Eventually play two. Yeah, eventually is the word, because I have so many damn games to play. <laughs> Like my song? Well, I'm no expert, but I'd say it wasn't bad. I see. No matter how much I play here, nobody ever listens. You wouldn't be able to play it, Striker. It... Like, if you... If you couldn't play, like... Biohazard, you wouldn't be able to play Last of Us. Both, it's scarier in my opinion, and you have to do a lot of stealth. Well, I think Biohazard is tame. I haven't decided if I want to look into getting, uh... Uh, the Dead Space remake? Um... But, uh, if I don't get that, then it's gonna be Yakuza and... Then after that, uh, the remake of Resident Evil 4. Those are the games I'm interested in right now. For newer ones that are coming out anyway. That kind of surprises me, Striker. Because... I feel... that, like, Biohazard is tame to The Last of Us. And since you freaked out on Biohazard, I don't, I don't think you'd be able to do The Last of Us. But I guess it doesn't really matter if nobody listens or not. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Didn't mean to complain. It's alright. Washed up musician, as you can see. And you are? Hear you. Hear you? Where have I heard that name before? What difficulty did you play on Donuts? Because I didn't think it was that unforgiving. At least what I've played of it. 
But I didn't play the harder difficulty. I played like normal. Oh, really? Yeah, like I died a few times, but in certain areas, but like, I don't know. But if you can't play stealth at all, or you panic, you definitely, uh... Did you get to the... Like, where did you get to, Donuts? Like, what was the last thing you did? Okay, so I'm pretty sure you're ahead of me. Um, yeah, the first place that I feel that was, like, that part that you're talking about where you have to you mess up and you get screwed over is that uh first like underground area the subway or whatever like that is definitely a place that one wrong move and you definitely get fucked over <laughs> yeah, clickers. Clickers are the problem. <laughs> But yeah, outside of the, the subway part where I played, I didn't have any trouble, really, with it too much. Yeah, you, you have to play stealth in The Last of Us, Striker. Like, the only way you don't play stealth is if you literally know every enemy in the game and, like, how to play against them. Even people that play, like, speedruns do stealth in areas. That's Kiryu's a pretty common name. He's the only Kiryu who's ever st stopped to hear me sing, though. Thanks for listening. You can usually find me here. Come by and listen again sometime. Sure, if I get the chance. So did you come to see me about something? I'm not sure if you're the one to ask, but I'm looking for a place where I can get a panoramic view of the city. What? Looking for a good date spot or something? In any case, the roof of the Millennium Tower would give you a real nice view. The roof of the Millennium Tower, of course. Doubt she could hit anybody in the city from way up on the Millennium Tower rooftop. I, I don't care how good of a sniper he is, but if I recall, I think access to the roof is usually closed off. The Zamba family office is on the top floor, but they don't allow an authorized people up there. HLA is under Kazama family's control. I'll try to talking to one of his men. Well, sorry to bother you. <laughs> With the H I stream. I meant stream. <laughs> okay, Stinger. Have a good one. And yeah, Striker, I don't think... I, w I would definitely advise you to watch. Like, I think my... I don't have it on YouTube yet. But... I'm pretty sure it's still in my VODs. I would watch me like my Last of Us or somebody play The Last of Us before I'd ever even consider putting it on the radar.
Because I really don't think it's a game you'll enjoy. Like, the story is really good. It's a great game, but it's not your style of game. Let's continue the main story a little bit. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be streaming. I kind of want to do a bit more story. Yeah, yeah, my wallet. You're not gonna get it, though. Fucked up. Oof. I feel like I burned off all those calories and then some. Sorry for bothering you. You can have this. Like you've been gone for hours. You have trouble finding Kanda or something? That was part of it, but also. Also, what? Mama, you mind if a friend I brought up stays here with me? Won't be around any longer than I am. Oh, of course. Is this a uh, um, special friend? Nah, you gotta be talking about Haruka, right? No, on both accounts. It's actually the captain of the Redu family. One of the biggest syndicates. <laughs> yeah, he's still going from detective to journalist, and he's still uh, looking slick. <laughs> Let's see. And we're definitely talking about a guy here, right? Or did you go and hook yourself some big shot female Yakuza? <laughs> it's pretty much just a kid. Oh. Well, in that case, he's especially welcome. We can use some young blood to freshen up the place. All I normally get here is middle aged farts like. <laughs> She's call she loves calling him out. Damn. I, I love this person. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's giving you a taste of your own medicine. So you get for calling me an old lady all the time. Mm, guess I deserve that. Anyway, you guys are welcome to stay in the back office. So long as you don't cause any trouble in here, I mostly just use it for storage. I appreciate it, Mama. So where's this guy? Let him go explore the city a bit, see the sights. He's coming here when he's done. Sounds like a damn tourist. So much for work ethic. Everything okay? It doesn't sound like you're in a very good mood. Nah, it's nothing. 
Finally found you. Did you believe I went in like five different bars before I ended up here? The city's a goddamn maze or something. It's your guy, Kiryu? Yep. This is my friend. I couldn't tell you how many times he's helped me over the years. Oh, and this is mama of this bar. This is the mama of this bar. Friends, huh? Pleasure meeting you. Well, someone has a lot of energy. I try, ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the honor's all mine. Finishes looking around town? I mean, I guess, but... What's wrong? I never found that bikini bar I was looking for. Really wanted to see what kind of heat a Tokyo one could bring, too. Didn't realize it was that important to him. Anyway, Kiryu. I'm ready to hear what went down with Kanda whenever you're ready to spill it. Just let me know when it's time, okay? I want to really dig into the details here. Ready to talk? Let's talk. Oh. Great. So tell me what happened with him. Well... The Mad Dog. The Mad Dog? Goro? Yes? Please? More Goro? I love Goro. <laughs> oh yeah, got it. Goro. Sounds like Kanda got a nice little visit from the fourth chairman. The whole family's gone up in flames. Impressive he did it all single-handedly. I suppose the dragon of Jijima still got some biting in him. Safe to say, Kiryu will keep poking around. By now, the guy's probably long known you're wrapped up in the whole shebang, too. Meaning the next place to show is right at your feet. Brought you into this deal, so I guess it's my fault if he comes after you. But it's worth it for you. Building this resort will net your family an easy 100 bill. Just so happens that also makes you the key suspect in the sixth chairman shooting. Majima, son? I want this city all to myself. So, you know what has to be done. You've got the most to lose if Kiryu-san gets in your, our way, after all. Doesn't matter how you do it. Just do it. Your head's the one that'll roll. <laughs> yeah, not the first murder, yeah. Not the first murder he's been accused of. You drink too much, dude? Hey, we just got wind of a big story. Shut up in the evening news. Uh, the Ministry of Defense finally agreed to the terms. 
In other words, the military expansion he's been pushing for is a done deal. But the base and the resort are two halves of the same home. If one starts picking up steam, the other is bound to come with it. If that explains why the resort's been back in the public eye all of a sudden. Go on, Kiryu. There's something you might want to know about the players in this resort deal. Tip found its way to our news desk. It's a photo sent from an anonymous source. No. Suzuki's moving ahead with his resort one way or another. The ones secretly tapped for construction? None other than the Mijima family. to say, I never thought Mijima would be mixed up in all this. Even with his reputation. Yeah. Not sure if he's the one leading the charge, but he's definitely involved. Think maybe he shot Diego? No. There's no chance. Look, Kiryu. I know you two are pals and all, but a Yakuza who's your friend is still a Yakuza. And Mijima especially. Let that dog off his leash, and who knows what'll happen. You're wrong. Mijima-san promised me he'd look after Diego. And he's not the promise-breaking type. I trust him. Get how you feel. I really do. But what if you're wrong? What if Mijima really is behind all this? If that's the case, then I'll have no choice but to kill him. Here are you. I'm gonna go talk to him. Hold on, Kiryu. We don't know whose side he's on. This is exactly why I need to go. I have a lot of questions, and Majima son's going to answer them. Kiryu. Is he still over in Purgatory? Yep. Family headquarters hasn't moved an inch. Still looks like nothing more than an empty lot, though. Oh, and the way in's the same, too. Through the bathroom in the park, just like always. Got it. And Kiryu? Promise me you won't let your guard down. I promise. See a girl. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna do your pictures yet, Mac. I'll mess with those later. Okay, you cuz up. Time to beat your ass like all everybody else that tries to take my wallet. Yeah. <laughs> 
Damn, you're a strong bastard. Sorry about that. You really beat some sense into me. Well, I got a well-deserved shard of tempered glass. Okay, then. The liar! It says toys right there! Uh, but those aren't, you know... Uh, but those aren't, you know... I don't have any toys for kids. What do you mean? I want one! Don't just lay there. Go in. No, we can't go in there. I'll tell your mother. <laughs> right, just a random shit poster. Nani? Get the impacts. I didn't even know what I was doing at first. I I didn't pay attention. That was one of the pictures. I was just like, what am I looking at? <laughs> Up so I can hit you with the bike. <laughs> Traffic will beat down. Uh, I love beating them down with bikes, traffic cones, pretty much anything I can find. I can't say for sure if Majima sons my friend or if my foe. I need to be ready for anything before I head inside. What should I do? Let's go inside. Let's see Majima. Purgatory, here we come. family. Dale 007 for assistance.
Yeah, I'm trying to think of when this would be. Cause like we have cell phones already in this as well. ヴァイオレットフォンのニーさん。すまんのキルちゃん。ワイドスターンフェイスキュー。アディンスプーキーデイ。これは。ウォルズオーアップサイドダウンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエ
I'm doing on that. <laughs> At long last, the legendary duo returns. So this is how it is. You want me to spill in my guts? You're gonna have to beat it out of me. A surprise there. That's how it always goes. Thus, versus the King of the Ring, the Dragon of Jijima. <laughs> the One Eyed Demon, the Mad Dog of Shimano, Patreon Saint of Pain, Goro Majima. For the first time in two years, these titans are back in action. Who will emerge victorious? That's my Kiryu. Wouldn't have it any other way. You ask me, there's nothing better than us two rumbling. Yeah, I guess not. So no holds barred. Hit me with all you got, Kiryu. Now, the gong. Let's go. Always was the faster one. Yeah. 
Damn it, Goro. Jesus. Damn it. I wasn't expecting, uh... Quick time, so I missed the hit the wrong button. Because I was hitting uh, attack buttons. Got you, Gora. The winner is Kiryu. You walled with me good, Kiryu. Well, a promise is a promise. Come back to my office and we'll chat. Yeah. I love the mad dog. Conspirators. So you wanna know who gave me the hookup with that guy, Suzuki, huh? He's some kind of minister or some shit, right? Well, it was Hamazaki. What? Yep. He's been trying to poke his grubby little fingers into that deal ever since he learned the Tojo were helping scrounge up the land for it. Jago walked, right? What was poor old... Hamazaki gonna do? Take matters into his own hands, that's what. Picked up where Diego left off, snatched up rights to the resort. So he phoned up Suzuki, boasted about having bigger balls than the Tojo, and that was that. Game set. Hamazaki. 
And that's when he offered you the construction contract? Yep. Didn't make sense why he'd come to me with such a juicy offer. But it's all crystal fucking clear now. What do you mean? Here you. You saw that photo of me and Suzuki chumming around, right? I got a damn good idea of who let it slip. Hamazaki. But why? To prove someone was dealing with him on behalf of the Tojo, and that this someone was me. That kind of shit hits the news, and me and Suzuki would be in the slammer quicker than you can say false imprisonment. All Hamazaki would have to do then is swoop in and clean up the scraps. He'd make a damn killing. Enough to stop him blowing up any more Chinese joints, that's for sure. Sounds like he's more vulture than man. Yep. The resort shit's not the only thing he's gunning for either. There's more? Oh yes. Last time I was with him, he looked me square in the eye. Said he wanted the city all to himself. <laughs> Only one way to interpret that, which is what? Think about it, Kiryu. Diego and him get filled with lead, you beat the snot out of Kanda, the whole city is fair game. And Hamazaki is ready to pounce. But how could he have known all that would happen? He asked me, he planned it from the start. Everything falling into place so perfectly is just a teensy bit too convenient, don't you think? I guess, and his ultimate goal is taking over the city. Not just that. There's one more head in his crosshairs. The Tojo clan. There's more to it than that. The florist? Hell yeah! Still got the team. Been a while, see you. Hanaya. I haven't seen you in what, two years? Somewhere around that, yeah. I didn't think I'd find you down here again. Pretty steep fall from that loft up in the Millennium Tower. Heh, <laughs> you're telling me. Anyway, the Jima san here is letting me borrow the place. Lost the rights to my prior place after all that stuff went down two years ago. Guess that makes sense. Now, about Hamazaki. Right. You said there's more to it? You bet there is. Seems he's fixed to pawn off the whole resort to the Chinese once it's built. What? Take a gander at this. That's... Yep. Ao Kalong, leader of the Snake Flower Tyrant. The Chinese syndicate you brought crashing down four years ago. What does he have to do with all this? Well, after he survived his first run-in with you, he sulked back to China, waiting for an opportunity to strike back. It's when he found the Hamazaki family, a far distant branch of the Tojo, that so far hadn't done much more than ruffle a few feathers in the Yokohama suburb. With them backing, Hamazaki laid claim to every last speck of the city. A feat that saw him shoot up through the Tojo clan ranks. Next is this. What am I looking at? The key here is the jumbled papers on the, t on the table. This is more than an, any old pile of scrap though. It's a contract between them, tying the snake flower tirade into the resort deal. A contract? For what, exactly? From what I can tell, he's planning to build some top-secret mega casino under the resort. A contract makes it so the snake flower tirade are the ones running it. Probably to pay them back for helping him conquer Yokohama. Must be working pretty closely with 
Suzuki if he's serious about pulling this off. Agreed. Gotta say, a small time Yakuza operation making a meteor rise like this is pretty damn unheard of. Didn't realize Hamazaki was balls deep in this shit. One question, Floris. Why do you know all this? Astute observation. The truth of it is, I was hired to dig up dirt on Hamazaki about six months ago. Hired? By who? Diego Jijima. What? You didn't tell me Diego was lying in your pockets. Explain yourself, Floris. Alright. Normally I'm not too keen on divulging my client's identities, but I think Diego would forgive me given the circumstances. When did he first approach you? A year or so back. Said he was hot on the heels of the traitor in the Tojo clan. Hamazaki, huh? I'm getting there. Anyway, Diego came to me worried that someone was conspiring to commandeer the resort deal behind his back. Someone in the Tojo clan. So I worked with Diego. Sent some of my boys into the family offices and pinched as much information as I could. Which is how you got your hands on that photo. Yep. What you found out was Hamazaki was scheming to shoot Diego and him, right? Probably. What do you mean, probably? If I wanted <laughs> ambiguous bullshit, I would have gone to a fortune tailor. Listen, I only started looking into all this again after Diego got shot. But that's when a new actor showed up on the stage. What in the... You're a chakra, huh? For you, at least. It's like his ghost come back to haunt you. Fishy stuff. Too fishy. Just who is he? What's that you got there? Why do you have a sketch of him? Boss! Someone's going down in the city. What? Nah, for fuck's sake. Love, Carl. Now, Kalong. Hey, you're some of what is it, sir? I need you to find this man. I'm just it, sir. Kiyu. Kiyu, that's... Rikia. Rikia. Don't know why, but it looks like Lao's using his snake flower cronies to hunt down your pal. Hello? Kiryu. It's Kiryu. Oh. What's hanging? Where are you right now? Huh? Well, uh, you were gone when I woke up, so I'm out taking in the sights on my own. Hmm? How was that? What? What's going on over there? I think you're tough, huh? Ah, Rikia. What? Rikia, hey. God damn it, Flores, find him. Gotta help him. Nope. Flores, you're somewhere around until you show back up. Captain of a pretty small family based down in Okinawa. 
What could the snake flower possibly want with him? Not sure. Chance Hamazaki is using Lao to lure you out. If they take your friend hostage, their plan's gonna work. Right. I'll save him for us. Just watch. That guy at pal of yours carry you? More like a brother. I haven't known him for long, but he's a good guy. I can get my boys out searching for him if you want. They got peepers like hawks. It wouldn't be too much trouble. Let me know if anything comes up. You know me, Kiryu. I'll ring you up even if it doesn't. What up, Kiryu? Oh, hey, it's Construction Boy. I saw you in there flinging those fists of yours at the boss. Pretty dang impressive, I gotta say. Sorry, I'm kinda in a hurry here. Oh, right. I guess I'll let you go then. Hey, but before you do, I'm dusting off the old Coliseum and open it back up for full time business. I haven't seen the boss this pumped since that time he gave me acupuncture. Anyway, we got a lot of beefy fighters lined up, so drop by and take a few swings when you get a chance. Thanks, I will. Okay, so the arena is open again. I wonder if the casino is open down here too. Now use the Majima family office as I do. Yeah, a boy Majima. And now we have this dire thing that we need to go help him, but I see a locker key over here. <laughs> Shiny first. Probably all over the place by now. Should I head out? Go save him. Be there soon. Mm. Right into it, okay. We're alone, Ikea. I... I don't know. Do I have to beat it out of you? Please, I tell the truth. Only officer know where boss is. Where can I find this officer? Not far ahead. He stand out because of clothes. Damn it, alright. Better not see you around here again. So I can need to track down this officer.
Purple dude, the officer, I'm guessing. You must be the snake flower officer. Tell me where your boss is. Sorry, that not happened. Instead, you die. Motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey brother, how you doing? sound effects. <laughs> How long are you gonna keep running, huh? Damn it. Why you not give up? What do I think? Pick up, didn't it? Oh, rude. Beach ass. You, strong as ox. Some more lawas before I show you how strong I really am. Boss. He. Well, he. Eep! It just never ends with this guy. Get back here. Oh god, another chase.
God damn it. Motherfucker, just what? tell me where he is. Huh. Finally, done running, huh? Guess it's time to make you tell me the truth. Eep, wait, wait. I tell you everything. Boss is on the roof of the building on Nakamichi Alley. Your friend there with him. Damn it. I need to get over there. Fight my way there. Jesus Christ. I just like, you know. Maybe. Right in the crotch. Excuse me, sir. Don't appreciate being thrown a knife at me. 
like how they're trying to hit me before the fence is down. Are the guns still here? It is. Yes. Come for you, bro. I was like, this is the place. Step aside. Thou and I have a score to settle. Fine. Guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Much for that officer. Who else I gotta fight? Likia. Likia. Arike. Sasiburi da na. Oh, hi. I missed you, Kiryu. La. We're overdue for a little talk, so I thought I'd lure you out. I know what you're after. He has nothing to do with this. Let him go. You fail to understand. 
Okay, now let's go. My alliance with Hamazaki was forged for nothing more than revenge on you. And that's why you got him involved. Okay, show off. Now, let's put an end to this at last, Kiryu. Feeling this is gonna be a hard fight. This is a bunch of random items here. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Some things in games are just that easy to tell by the sound. Behind it, but it's too late. Hey, Femi. Get me against the wall. <laughs> How you doing, Femi? Not do that so early. 
I keep expecting it to be earlier for some reason. No, like, I literally know it's not. Hey, she passed it? What's dodging? No, I'm not. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it broke. Fighting style, I guess. Oh yeah, Goro's in this game too. We were just with him in the last chapter. You don't play as him, but he is in the game. The only one you've gotten to play as him really is the first one. Well, Zero, not the first one. But he's been in every game since. So far anyway. I'm assuming he's going to be in all of them, to be honest. I can block it. <laughs> okay, new fighting style again. I can block a lot of this.
Yeah, it's them, so get that heat up. Come on. Wait, did he knock that off of me? No, okay. It sounded like he knocked off the... again just because I can and I don't want to want to get like stun locked randomly and lose at the last second <laughs> Peace, Lau. We're not finished just yet. Now watch close as your friend's head is severed from his shoulders. I will fucking kill you. Thank you. Date? No. What? But you're supposed to be dead. Answer me. Are you Shintaro Kazama or not? That's not all. I need to know. Why did you shoot Diego and Nakahara? You So you Kazuma Kiryu. Yeah. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Like I heard. Like I heard from my brother before. So you had a brother? Okay. The plot. Once we get out of like a series of story, I am uh, probably gonna end the stream, but uh, I don't want to end it in a cutscene and like boss stuff. Cause I'm a looking guy. Really said all that? Yeah. Hmm. Can't help but wonder what he wants. All we know for sure is that he's wrapped up in this whole mess somehow. What's wrong? You still hurt? Yeah. Not really. I just don't know what to think of all this. Why'd that guy with the mustache save my life? Especially after you shot the boss. Why help me? Rikia. 
I need you to head back. <laughs> I have some new sense to tie up here. But you? There's nothing keeping you in this city. But, just hear me out, okay? Right now we don't know whether that man is sketch. In the sketch is friend or foe. Go home, be safe. Take care of Saki for me. Watch after morning glory. Can you do that? Hi. Yeah. And see, Femi? I patched dude is here. What? The chairman? Sounds like he swung over here to see you. I'm glad he placed like this been underneath the city all this time. Who would have thought? Well, you want to talk to me? Yes. You must forgive me. I'm afraid my organization is in part to blame for all the trouble you've been facing. I'm here to hold myself accountable. Accountable? Yes. What is the meaning of this? I'm guessing it's his head or something? Last night, at Hakuho HQ. You dirty son of a bitch! I'm not getting away with this! What the hell's the stone face for? Huh? Don't just sit there twiddling your thumbs. Say something, jack off. Hey, this is my office. I suggest you be a little more respectful. You can shove your respect. If you weren't so damn chill about everything, I'd never have got my ass whooped by Kiryu. I told you in the officer's meeting, I don't consider Kiryu my enemy. This wouldn't have happened had you not gone looking for a fight. Now I'm getting lectured by some limp dick coward, huh? Well, I don't want to hear it. Bro, don't. Breaking all this shit. Give me your cash and your boys. He ain't surviving the night. Then I'm gonna be the se seventh chairman. I'll even let you be my captain. <laughs> you truly are a fool, aren't you? Shit! I dare you to say that again. The collection you just demolished was worth over one billion yen. Like I give a rat's ass. You wipe your shit stains with that kind of cash. Money isn't the issue here. You just can't seem to perceive worth. Neither theirs nor yours. What was that? Receive this, you little shit. Ooh. <laughs> I realize I failed to mention this before. But the truth is, I'm much stronger than I look. You're useless to me now. Except perhaps as my apology to Kiryu. Oh, 
Don't do it here. He's made a big enough mess as is. Yes, sir. Hey, hold on a second. Wait. <laughs> I suppose it was my fault for allowing Kanda to rise so far above his station. Yeah, my deepest apologies. Can we consider this Nishikiyama family incident resolved? I plan to assemble the Tojo family clan without delay and attempt to restore order. As for Hamazaki, Though I suspect he won't turn up. You have some idea where he might have gone? I do. I imagine he's no longer in the country. What do you mean? The head of the Japanese Snake Flower branch, Lao Kalong, is dead. Snake Flower headquarters would never accept such failure. Given. Hamazaki was Lao's partner. They've surely kidnapped him in retaliation. The rest of his family was apparently found floating in the Yokohama Bay. That's the snake flower, alright. In any case, without us even having to lift a finger, the Hamazaki family is gone. I plan to reach out to the snake flower headquarters to hopefully prevent any further bloodshed. That's so? Kiryu, the Tojo clan is on a knife's edge. We need you now more than ever. I suggest you take care of yourself. Farewell. Who told you to handle things like this? I'm not sure I follow. And let me reinstate. Would Diego have done the same thing in your shoes? I doubt it. Then why are you... But Diego is no longer the one giving orders. This decision was mine, and mine alone. By the way, Kiryu... Some of the blame for all of this rests on your very shoulders. Diego told me everything about your orphanage. You're a coward. No regard for the position you hold. You may think you're turning over a new leaf, but it's all meaningless. Mere hypocrisy. What? I intend on moving forward in the way I see most fit. Methods aside, I do see myself as the successor to Diego's son's legacy. In other words, every last thing I do is done with the aim of aiding the Tojo clan. A motive I'm sure Diego would approve of. Anyone that stands in my way will be eliminated. Even if that person is one of our own. I'll never understand it. What could Diego San see in a man like you? Flash your way. Excuse me? Someday, I'll prove it to you. I don't expect you will. I have nothing to learn from you. Pretty much, any time Kiryu leaves Tojo, they they go in shambles. <laughs> Didn't think was the kind of guy to slaughter one of his own like that. Pretty fucking brutal. Wouldn't you say, Kiryu? He 
He's kind of out of our hair. Hamazaki's probably fish bait by now. Meaning it's all over. Everyone who's trying to rub you and Diego out of the picture is finished. Yeah. Well, not exactly. Hamazaki was a traitor. There's no question about that. And thanks to the snake flower, he and his family are no more. That doesn't mean this is the end. There's still that man who looks like Kazama. I doubt he would have put a bullet in Diego just for the hell of it. Meaning, someone's probably giving him orders. That's the only explanation for him shooting Nakahara and stealing the landy, too. He can't be working alone. Sodara. Hamazaki's the most obvious suspect. Since he was after control of both the resort and the Tojo clan. But if this Kazama guy was working for Hamazaki, why would he go out of his way to save Kiryu? There are a ton of question marks here. Kiryu, I'm gonna try to find out what happened to Hamazaki. Floris, do me a favor and look into Minai and the Hakuho clan while I'm gone. Minai? At this point, Tojo leadership's been practically decimated. Majima and Mene are the only two left standing. You implying I got a horse in this race? <laughs> if I was, I sure wouldn't have said it to your face. Uh. Alright, I'll see what I can dig up on the clan and that Kazama lookalike. Speaking of Kazama, his family is leaderless now. Think you can step up in his place, Majima? Oh, and be careful. I'm sure some of the other families will try to take advantage of the power vacuum this creates. I, uh, sure. You gotta, Kiryu. Kiryu, let me know the second you learn anything. I will. Well, all that's left to do now is to put this plan into action. We'll be in touch. <laughs> Guess I got a date with the Kazama family. First things first, gotta make sure he uh, gets back to the city. The least I can do is see him to the taxi. Okay, Floris, do you have anything to say before I talk to him? What you can do with the kid, Kiryu. Sending him home. It's too dangerous for him to stay here. Agreed. Might want to at least take him to the taxi after all he's been through. So, it's only fair. Yeah, I was planning on it. Let's go, bud. Yeah. Come on. I'll take you over to the taxi. If we leave now, we should be able to get you on the next flight down. It's okay. I can go on my own. Barely any time has passed since the snake flower tyrant tried to murder you. You shouldn't be out by yourself. Not yet. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's go. God damn it. I swear, sometimes it's like every five seconds he calls me. I technically can save right there. I'm actually going to save, but I'm not going to until I get like free room. So, I need to get him to taxi first. Who's chilling over here? Shifty eyed man. Hey, you, I got some good stuff over here. You interested? Hey, you got my friend? Large blow-up doll, okay. I like the description. Kind of an odd-looking blow-up doll. I'm sure you know what it's for. So 
such a like customization stuff. I wonder what all that stuff is used for. What we got here? Searching tiger. Okay. Another one of the things. I'll mess with that later. I'm thinking about it. Since we have enough, let's upgrade our health again. Okay, bud. Here's your taxi. Go back. This taxi will take you to the airport. Make sure you get on your flight, okay? I... I'll be fine. Just make sure Nakahara and the kids are safe. After all, we still don't know who we're up against. Sounds like this whole thing is out of the Tojo clan's hands, at the very least. With Nakahara still in the hospital, you're the only one those kids can rely on. Same goes for the Ryudo family. They're all counting on you. Right? I won't let them down. Anyway, guess it's time for me to go. Try keeping yourself out of harm's way, okay? Yeah, I'll be home soon. This is It is who's asking. This is the Minister of Defense. Tamiya. As you're aware, I have been in contact with Diego Jijima regarding the proposed deal. Yeah, your secretary Toma told me all about it a year or so ago. Right, unfortunately, after Diego Jijima was shot, the Suzuki supporters members, supporting members of the Tojo clan flung into overdrive, attempting to push the resort. In turn, I have no choice but to ensure my military expansion bill passed as well. What do you mean? I thought the resort started back up because you tried to pass your bill, not the other way around. Not exactly. My attempts to see the military expansion bill pass were the result of a third party. My hand was forced. What does any of this have to do with me? I need you to do me a favor. Keep the resort from starting up again? Not quite. But the end result will ultimately lead to that. I'm not sure I follow. Aren't your base and that resort some kind of linked pair? If the resort doesn't happen, neither will your base. This matter is regrettably not as simple as that. Regardless, if you still want to put a stop to this resort deal, come to my office in the Diet Building. <laughs> you heard me. I'll have my driver wait for you in front of the Millennium Tower. He'll bring you to me. Fine. I have a few questions of my own that could use answering. What could Tamaru want with me? And who's the third party he mentioned? I knew there was more to this than just internal Tojo clan feud. Should let they know what's going on. What's the scoop, Kiryu? I just got off the phone with Tamiya, the Minister of Defense. What? Why would he want to talk to you? 
I wish I knew. Either way, it looks like someone from the Tojo clan is still pulling strings in all this. Also mentioned some kind of third party being involved. He asked me to come to the building to talk to him in person. I'm about to head over. To the How are you going to get there? He's sending a driver over. Apparently we're meeting in front of the Millennium Tower. Wait, Kiryu, take me with you. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. So want to meet up outside the Millennium Tower? And risk making the driver suspicious? Probably not a good idea. Let's head over there together, okay? Where are you now? That's Serena, as always. See you out front. I'm gonna go save. Well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go save. We have, yeah, we have plenty of health. So. Oh. Go save, and then I'm going to make sure he's still alive. But I know who I'm gonna raid into, because I literally never get a chance to raid him. Uh, I'm gonna get some food and whatnot. I don't know if I'm gonna just go to sleep right away. I'm gonna probably hang out in the stream that I raid after I eat, but yeah. So let's save this and make sure he's still going. I'm sure he's still going because I don't think it's been that long. But we shall see. Let's see. If I can spell. <laughs> mm, he's been going... Almost two hours now, so you should still be good for a bit. Yeah. Right. Okay, everyone. I'm going to rate out. If you've been here for a while, you should see him. Stinger is somebody that's in here all the time. He's currently playing Persona 5. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and raid over to him. And then I'm going to get some food. And then hang out, so. Hopefully he's safe for the raid, say hi to him, follow him if you don't already. Like I said, he's in here all the time, especially with the Yakuza and stuff. But uh, I'll see you all on Thursday when we finish Callista Protocol. I assume finish, I don't think it's going to be that longer anyway. See y'all over there. You too, Femi.